Welcome to this final chapter in our humble book of the dead. But what's in store for our hopeless heroes? <laughs> there are no heroes here, as No Rolls Bard plays Blood on the Clock Tower. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. My name is Tom and I'm joined by Adam. Hello. I, I really like where this is going. Brooke. Hello. <laughs> Ken. Hello. Dan. Hello, hi. John. Hello. That's a good one. Dom. Hello. Laurie. Um, no, no. <laughs> Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Carly. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and our very special guest, official storyteller from the Pandemonium Institute, and my partner in crime until the end of the line, Ben. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Once more, everyone from the top. Good night. So Ben, time to go around the town square and explain to the people at home who has what role and how that role works. And we're gonna start with Adam, uh, townsfolk cannibal. Adam the cannibal. You have the ability of the recently killed executee. If they are evil, you are poisoned until a good player dies by execution. So if a good player is executed and they die, Adam gains their ability until another good player is executed and dies. Uh, we won't tell him that he's got this ability, but we'll wake him up to do the things. So, you know, if he, if he gains the seamstress's ability, we'll wake him up and, and ask him to pick two people. If he gains the dreamer's ability, we'll wake him up and ask him to pick one person. So he can sort of confirm the dead. However, if an evil player is executed, we will wake him up and probably go through the motions of whatever character they are bluffing as because if an evil player dies this way, he is poisoned. The cannibal is one of my favorite townsfolk to play. It's kind of like Kirby, if Kirby only ate corpses. Yeah. Um, if you can go the distance, the, the, the idea that you can play that game and get to try out a bunch of different powers for me is, is amazing, because I love, I love the having special powers and using power side of Clock Tower. Next up, we have Brooke, um, our second townsfolk at Town Gossip. Gossip, Brooke, uh, each day you may make a public statement. Tonight, if it was true, a player dies. So uh, each day, Brooke can, if she wishes, make a public statement. It will probably be something about the game. If it's true, someone dies and Brooke probably learns that, that her statement was true. Although, I think ideally you want to say false statements as the gossip most of the time. Our first minion of the game, Ken, is our Mazepheles. The Mazepheles, this is a fun one. You start knowing a secret word. The first good player to say this word becomes evil that night. Uh, as you can see, I've already got this set up, ready to show Ken. The word is dump truck. We'll be showing him that in the night, and the first player who says the word dump truck in this whole game will turn evil. Dan is our seamstress. The seamstress, whose ability reads, once per game at night, choose two players. You learn if they are the same alignment. Pretty simple, that one. Choose two people. Yes, if they're on the same team. No, if they aren't. That's a wicked powerful role, the seamstress. It is indeed. John is this game's king. John the king, he's gonna love this. Each night, if the dead outnumber the living, you learn one alive character. The demon knows who you are. So, um, first of all, if we get to six dead players, I'll start waking John and telling him uh, one living character that is still in play. However, the demon is immediately informed who the king is. Why doesn't the demon just kill the king, you might ask? Well, because there's a character on this script called the choir boy, who if the king dies, the choir boy learns who the demon is. There isn't actually a choir boy in play, but our demon doesn't know that. Dom is this game's dreamer. 
Dom the Dreamer, whose ability is... Each night, choose a player. You learn one good and one evil character, one of which is correct. So uh, each night Dom is alive, we'll wake him up, he'll choose someone. I'll show him two characters, one of them will be correct, the actual character that that player is. The other one will be a lie and will be the opposite alignment of that player's character. So next up is a brand new character to Blood in the Clock Tower, the Vizier. The Vizier. I've, uh, I've never seen this character in action. This is my first time running it. This is all of these guys' first time playing it. It's very experimental. It's very prototype. It also looks to be very, very entertaining. How does it work? So uh, the Vizier's ability is all players know who you are. You cannot die during the day. If good voted, you may choose to execute immediately. So there's quite a bit to unpack there. First of all, all players know who you are. So the moment the game begins, we'll be standing up and saying, this guy is the Vizier. Um, the Vizier cannot die during the day. So you can't execute the Vizier unless it's drunk or poisoned. And the Vizier may force an execution to pass as long as one good player voted. Now that sounds very powerful, and it is, but there are a few pitfalls there. First of all, if you're the Vizier and you force an execution to pass, you've proven that at least one player who voted is good, which is a bit of a price. Secondly, if you repeatedly force executions to pass, and then your demon is nominated and you're like, oh, I think I'll just not bother this time, guys, then you've obviously shown that the person who's been nominated is evil. And finally, you don't want your Vizier to be in final three, because then it's a choice out of one out of two which is bad for the evil team. So the demon is going to probably have to kill the vizier in the night at some point. So a huge amount of power to make people do what you want, but a huge risk in doing that. It is indeed the incarnation of the saying, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And today that crown is being worn by Laurie. Laurie Blake, the vizier, is going to love it. Sullivan, lovely Sullivan, is this game's lovely empath. Lovely empath sat next to the lovely vizier. Each night you learn how many of your two alive neighbours are evil. Uh, I think Sully's actually landed very fortuitously there because he's going to immediately know which of his neighbours are evil. And assuming he isn't made poisoned or drunk on night one, he's going to be, that's going to be some very solid info for him. Tilly, our final townsfolk, the tea lady. Tilly the tea lady. If both of your alive neighbours are good, they can't die. Spoiler alert, both of her alive neighbours are not good. However, the one that is evil also cannot die. So this will be quite interesting. Carly, this game's demon and the leech. The leech, whose ability is, each night, choose a player, they die. You start by choosing an alive player, they are poisoned. You die if and only if they die. So from night two onwards, Carly will choose a player and they will die. However, on night one, she will choose a host and she will leech into them and that player will be poisoned for the entire game. Carly cannot die unless that player dies. And if that player does die, Carly dies immediately. So she has a very, very difficult decision to make on night one, and then she's gonna have to protect that player for the whole game. So in a 10 player town, we have seven townsfolk, one demon and two minions. And this time, there really are no outsiders. There are not, although we do have one as a bluff. Yes, and with that in mind, let's talk about those demon bluffs. So demon bluffs, nice and simple. We have the noble, you start knowing three players, one of them is evil. Pretty simple that, um, you can just implicate somebody. You can choose three good players, you can choose a bunch of evil players. Spread misinformation, so it's a, it's a good one. Uh, we've also got the Sailor. Each night, choose an alive player. Either you or they are drunk until dusk. You cannot die. We've put this in because it can't die. And uh, this is an obviously useful bluff for a leech because they also cannot die. And then last but not least, I'm kind of sad we haven't had this one this season. So, spoiler, if we do another season, we might have to put it in because I love it. Uh, this is an outsider. It's the Golem. You may only nominate once per game. When you do, if the nominee is not the demon, they die. So the golem gets to nominate once per game. They're not allowed to nominate anymore. But if the player they nominate is not the demon, that player just immediately dies. It isn't an execution. Uh, they just die. And this is obviously useful to evil because they can nominate literally anybody. Uh, and when that player doesn't die, they can say, oh, well, this, this, player, this player must be the demon then because I'm the golem. Okay, night one. So first of all, we're going to wake up Ken. We'll tell him that his fellow minion is Laurie and his demon is Carly. We'll be back to Ken later, but first it's time to wake up Laurie, the vizier. We'll inform him that Ken is his fellow minion and that his demon is Carly. 
Finally, we wake up the demon Carly. We'll tell her that Ken and Laurie are her two minions, and we'll give her her three bluffs, Noble, Sailor, and Gollum. We then have to wake up Carly again, because we must inform her that John is the king. Then we actually wake up Carly a third time because she needs to choose her host. In this instance, she chooses Brooke the gossip, meaning that none of Brooke's gossips will cause a death. Next up, it's time for the Mezephiles, and we show Ken a big old piece of paper with the word dump truck written on it. Hopefully he isn't confused by that, and he knows that he needs to get someone to say the word dump truck. Next, it's time to wake up our empath, Sullivan, and show him a one, and that will become immediately apparent where that's coming from, because in a minute we're going to tell everybody that Laurie is the vizier. Next, we wake up Dom, the dreamer, and amazingly, he chooses Laurie. So I take the opportunity to give a very silly bit of information to him, and we tell him that Laurie is either the dreamer, which is what Dom is, or the Vizier, which is what he's about to learn that Laurie is. Sorry, Dom. And then last, but certainly not least, Dan the Seamstress. Dan initially tries to choose himself and John. Uh, I then have to inform him that he cannot choose himself, so he chooses his neighbors, and he learns that no, they are not on the same team. An excellent bit of starting information there for the good. And that, my dear friends, concludes night one. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. What more is there to say? This will all be over soon, one way or another. Win or lose, live or die, the end is coming. And when the sun sets here, on an empty village just a few short days from now. In towns all over the world, the ancient clock tower still casts its shadow. And where the clock tower stands, there will be blood. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still a demon on the loose, after all. It's kill or be killed. One more thing. It is my duty as storyteller to inform you that the Pontiff of Persecution, some know him simply as the Vizier, but you will know him as Laurie Blair. Oh! Oh! All the power of life and death. Outstanding. Hoppable. Hoppable. Oh my god. Oh no. Good luck, and I really mean it this time. Don't worry, John, we're going to win this one. Fuck you! So evil! Not being able to kill Laurie is the worst. Are we, are, we, are we ready to go? Yeah. All right, I'm glad Laurie picked me, because I'm the king. So, I'm the only person... He doesn't matter, he's lying. I'm not evil, I'm the king. Oh! Uh, what? My lieges? Huge. No, I'm your lieges. <laughs> your lieges? <laughs> yeah. Did that last time. Okay. You're going you're gonna to cut as the king, what? yeah? The demon already knows. Well, the so, the demon, the demon already knows. Really knows so yes. Fine. And if the demon like kills you, then you know who they are. No, exactly. And oh, as long as the choir boy is still alive. Okay. So everyone wants to chat to me? I'm good. I'll, I'll chat to you, John. Should we chat? Let's chat. Laundry. 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 Uh, can Dan come? Laundry. Oh, well, we'll the go to a recluse and take, take, take Dan. Recluse? Right. Let's go. Okay. So, your majesty, we know about you, unless it's a bluff. Um, what about you? I've come because I'm looking to glean some information. And I'm, I'm sort of willing. I, want, I kind of want to sit and see what's going on. Because you wanted to chat. Well, mm, that's because he's I am, I am good. I mean, it might be a bluff. It might be a huge that's bluff. That's the thing. You're asserting it, that, and your information is interesting to me. And, and like it could be a more. demon bluff. The reason and I, I was said the minion that wanted to talk to me. You could be the minion that wanted that's to talk it. to me. That's yeah. it. The reason I said it is that the demon already knows who I am. So mm -hmm. it's probably the safest one to come out as really early on. So I am either mm -hmm. the empath mm -hmm. or the seamstress mm -hmm. uh -huh. or the cannibal. Ooh, oh, right. Those are good ones. I'm either empath. Dreamer or sailor. 
Interesting. You're both very good characters. Exactly. Mm. Don't tell me. That's, no, that's, that's it. My, unless my one of you is yeah. evil, then we're fucked. I really want to stay alive, which I know looks sus, but unless someone else claims king, I suppose it could be a bluff. It'd be good to know if we've got a tea lady. So I am either our clockmaker or mm. our sailor, is what I will say. Um, obviously, if I'm the sailor, um, I pick someone. Mm -hmm. um, they might be poisoned. I'm not willing to say who at this time for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. but I'm going to try to read what people do mm -hmm. and what people mm -hmm. say about their abilities. Um, but if that's true, I also cannot die. Correct. Which could be an interesting test. Are you willing Especially to... in terms of lore, because I think he would push my execution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you willing mm -hmm. to give Clockmaker info, even if it might be Yeah, if fake. it's Clockmaker, yeah. it'd be two. I would say, uh, I, 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 it's a bit, I'm a bit being a bit more vague, and I, uh, and I, I apologize for that. In, no, that's in, okay. No, okay. I, I think um, there's reason for me to be specific. Yes, so. yes. Um, uh, that I wake up uh, each night, woke up last night. Okay. So that's, uh, yeah, and that's all I'll say. But I, on I, I, I a social vibe, I'm liking this tent. Mm. I like this yeah. tent. Yeah, I feel um, mm. Yeah. And um, what would you like to say if anything at all? So I'm either the uh, cannibal. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the dreamer. Okay. Or the tea lady. Okay. Great. Lovely. Great. Yeah. Lovely. Fantastic. And I'll confirm which I am with you guys tomorrow. If you're the tea lady, mm -hmm. yep. and potentially, mm. and I'm potentially a sailor, mm -hmm. um, we can learn quite a lot from okay. seeing what happens in that remark. Between yes. if either of those are true, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I shouldn't be able to die mm -hmm. if yeah. um, if that is what I am, or yes. if you're good. It's so evil. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, can you give us a few minutes? We, got, absolutely we actually have stuff to discuss. Yeah, oh, we actually yeah, have yeah, That doesn't involve today. you guys. Oh, oh, we're a third and fourth wheel. <laughs> oh, 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 no. That's a shame. It's just a functional it's, car. It's okay. So, Brooke, just which one of the red ones are you? Oh, you know, I'm, I'm that one. Which one of the red ones are you, Ken? Um, um, doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, which one of the red ones are you? Oh, I'm that one. Oh, brilliant. Ken, I'm just straight up not going to let you talk to Lauren. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm so I'm, sorry. I was not expecting to. I. <laughs> Ken's in it for the I bit. Thought really, <laughs> I, I thought it'd be really funny. <laughs> oh god, and it is yeah. kind of, but I just can't let it go. I'm, I'm, I'm happy we can't to leave Laurie alone. Yeah, you can leave me alone. <laughs> you can't leave town. me alone with someone. No, yes. Because I might trip. say something. Oh That's my true. god, what are you going to say? I might out. find out something. Um, well, Laurie, are you having a nice time? I'm having a nice. <laughs> I'm having a wonderful time. Brush is off, man. <laughs> Bro, great. Should we risk it? No. Risk what? I, 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 I want to. I want a hard claim to someone. Is it going to be me? It's going to be you. You want to go wash up? Yeah, let's go wash. <laughs> Shit. Oh it's God. brave. It's I'm brave. You, Ken. It's brave. Look. I'm on you. Don't do it, Ken. Just tell me which townsfolk you are, Ken. I'm the king. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to listen. Oh, Absolutely. It's hard to get a private chat in these days. Yeah, know? it's hard yeah. to get a private chat in, in town square. Okay. Yep. Just a classic, classic cup of. Out of the evil now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play as out of the evil now. <laughs> Hello, little Brooke. Hello, regular just sized Adam. Reach into my washing and pull out my character sheet. Oh, very good. Nice and clean. I'm going to just tell you who I am. Okay. I'm going to hard claim, and if you're bad and I die first, then you're next. Okay. I am your cannibal. Oh, very cool. I am your gossip. Ooh. Yes. So I was going to gossip to see what kind of demon we're working with. So I was going to claim Pucker because. Okay. If we're right, we'll get two deaths, whereas like Zumbul, that doesn't really cost much. Leech, I don't know. So yeah. we'll see. There's no, uh, there's no gambler. No. Um, Sailor's fine, Empire Earth is fine, Choir Boy seems to You are the only person I think that can cause extra deaths apart from the Tinker, and I don't know if we've got any. I don't think we have any outsiders. So yeah, you, gam uh, you gossiping on one of these, uh -huh. and we count the deaths. Yes. Oh, I huge, love it. Huge. So I'm um, gonna, uh, if you wanna also gossip. Yeah, I'll gossip. Okay. I'll gossip first. Cool. Nice. Very cool. I think that's pretty much it. Oh my god. Have Just, we had a plan? Do you want to do a bit? Shall we do a bit? Yeah. Oh! Ba, 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 oh, ba, ba, ba. oh my god, there's stuff in it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Ben, I really feel like my wish was your command. I wanted to be the Vizier so badly, because I can't die. And I keep getting killed in this game by everyone in town. And I can't die unless the demon kills me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fallen quite nicely for you, hasn't it, really? Because mm -hmm. you're an extremely powerful role. Uh, and really, if you can't win as the Vizier, then I think it's time you, you retire. <laughs> oh, right, okay, <laughs> fine, yeah, all oh, right, okay, I get it. <laughs> um, what, what do you think are good tactics for the Vizier? So, I mean, honestly, it's difficult to say because this character is so new that I don't have the kind of expertise with it that I do with other ones, but certainly if I were the Vizier, I would approach it in such a way that I would 
arbitrarily force some executions through and then say no to other ones. Yes, yeah. Uh, and I mean, as well, I don't know what you know. So, like, there are characters. There are characters on this script that can make people not die, regardless. You know, like the tea lady yes, yeah, yeah. and the leech and stuff like that. So you can play with that if you can gain that information. Yeah. And you can actually, you know, use that to your advantage. Yeah, to begin to manipulate yeah. the town. So really what you want to be doing is listening out for who can and who can't die. Uh, framing good players as evil by refusing to force executions through on them. Mm -hmm. And killing useful players that are, that are a threat to the rest of your team. And most importantly, not giving away who your who team, the rest is. Of the team is. Because you're in a very rare situation where everybody just knows you're evil. So every single thing that you say and do, everyone's going to be focused on it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's, uh, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. But I'm very excited. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. How was your chat with Laurie? It was very brief. Mm -hmm. I said... Do you think he's I'd... just going to kill us all? Uh, I think he has plans, but I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. He, he, it was very brief. He went and did a character reveal instantly. Oh man, I don't know, I don't know who to trust. I started out trusting Carly and I don't know that I... Oh, I need to talk to Carly because she said done. we're going to have a chat this game because we've never... Oh yeah, 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 we haven't, you haven't spoken. I'll try and get her when she gets back, but... Mm -hmm. yeah, who knows, who knows? Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. You good? Like... You good? What do you think? What do you think? Well, I can't tell. Clearly, I can't read you because I thought you were good yeah. last time. Well, and you were just do big the old. Just do the opposite a, of what you expect. You did a big old betrayal. Just do the opposite you of what you betrayed me. I did. You betrayed me. Do it again. Me. I'll do it again. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'll do whatever it takes to win. <laughs> I had a lovely chat with Tilly and Carly. I've got okay. good vibes off both of them, okay. um, which is great news. I, th I, th I think genuinely. They are probably actually good, which is nice. Nice to feel good about. Mm. I had it the other day in another game where it, uh, me, Dom and Brooke all went into a tent together. We were like, we're all good, aren't we? We just are. We just are. I okay. kind of have that feeling again. Okay. Um, I have the same feeling with you, to be honest, as well. But I, what I'll tell you is, I'll, I'll tell you what I told them. So I woke up last night and I'll continue to wake up as long as I'm alive. Okay. But that's, uh, that's all I've got. That's all you've got. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I... What do I want to tell you? I chatted to uh, Dom and uh, John, mm -hmm. and I went kind of to go as just a third eye. Yes. Just to try and glean whatever information I can get. Yeah. Um, and again, I felt pretty good about both of those. Mm. Um, weirdly, that makes me feel a little bit nervous because if we feel good about everybody. Yes, that's what you know, And it's almost like, is this the fact that we know one minion is, yeah. is a false sense of security? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I also wake in the night. Great. Um, Great. And presumably continue to do so, or as far as I know, I will continue to do so. Great, empath, dreamer, sailor. Cool. Um, I am either the cannibal, mm -hmm. the gossip, or the seamstress. Okay. Okay. What about you? I'm the king. Oh yeah, of course you're the king. <laughs> king, um, stay the king. Do you want to gossip with me? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh. Cool. Absolutely. I mean, you can gossip if I'm the if I'm the king, if that helps. That probably. Would. And then if someone dies, because I know there's a chance that I'm a demon bluffing. I'm not a minion, so I wouldn't have my bluffs, Yeah. but I could be the demon. Yeah. It's a pretty hardcore bluff for the yeah. demon. I'm not that confident. But if you believe that, maybe yeah. test it. Well, it's quite a good point. bluff if you're the demon because it yeah. explains why no one, why you don't die. Yeah. That's true. But if the choir boy dies, they would out themselves mm -hmm. and then you just kill the, the king, right? Yeah. With no consequences. So it's risky. You're going to kill us all. Oh, do I'm you know? Kill all do you know who your demon is? I know many things. Okay. Good to know. That's why I wanted to come talk to you. Okay. Because you're my demon. What? Are you just saying that to everyone? <laughs> no, what? that's not what I'm saying. You're the demon. No, I am not. What the fuck is this play? I can give you three for three if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm either the gossip, yeah. the cannibal, mm -hmm. or the choir boy. Great. Um, I'm either a clockmaker or sailor. Oh, a two for two. Yeah. Uh, have you taken... Uh, Which one did you say? You said... I am the gossip. I'm just making sure I remember. The cannibal oh, or the cowboy. Gotcha. Three for two. Three for two. Three poor, for two. It's a poor exchange rate for you. It is, but I chose it. <laughs> yes, that's fair. Yeah. And I guess you're not going to give me any more info if you've um, interacted with anyone. I guess if you I were will, sailor... I, you... If it's clockmaker, it's two. And if it's sailor, obviously I picked someone and I cannot die, potentially. Unless I probably picked an evil player, then I might be able to die. If hypothetically you were sailor, who would you pick? 
Um, I will not say until I talk to them. It might be you, but it's... Uh, actually, I'll tell you it's not you. Okay. Specifically. I would rather not be taken for a drink. Okay, but, that's good to know. Yeah. If I'm the sailor, I'm curious if I can be... Can, if I can bait Laurie to execute me and have me not die. <laughs> Are you just going to keep taking Laurie for a drink for the rest of the game? I could take Laurie for the drink for the rest of the game, it's but a bit I think... nerfy of you. I think I would rather bait him to try to kill me and verify myself a little bit. Mm because he might push for my execution sillyly. Have you had a chance to speak to who you went for a drink with, if you did, or um, if you were a clock maker? Potentially yes, potentially no. Oh, potentially. <laughs> I don't know you at all. I don't know if you're good or evil. I'm not going to tell you. Okay, that's good. Um, I, I, I worry about it being mad at, especially with the puka slash leech in play. Use as well. Yes. It's provably evil. Hey! Oh! Oh! So we have allegedly two members of the nobility with us tonight. You looky, looky people. Nominations are open. I would like to gossip, please. Ooh. Ooh. I would like to gossip that our demon is a leech. Thank you. Ooh. Well, I would also like to gossip, and I would like to gossip that our demon is a puka. Puka? How do you say it? Either's fine. Okay. Puka! I would like to gossip that John is the king. Ah, that's good. A noble gossip. I would like to gossip that we've got a zombu. I would like to gossip. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> I'm <laughs> the vizier. I am the vizier. <laughs> I would like to gossip that I am Luke. <laughs> That's a callback. Oh, That's a callback. Call call good reference. Good reference. Loyal fans will get it. <laughs> Sign up to our loyal fans. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing? Yeah, man. How's everyone doing? Grand. Lovely time. Good. Nice. Uh, only one person has had a private chat with Laurie. Yeah. And that would be Ken. Oh, of course. Oh, Ken. Ken. Of course. It's because Ken's, Ken's the dude. Unfortunately, that does track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why not? <laughs> fun, I, fun. It was very fun. Mm. These these guys tried to join us and ruin our pie, but eventually they left. What did you learn from Vizier? That there was not. a party in Agrabah. I learned that. <laughs> <laughs> FFS, there's going to be so many Aladdin seen... jokes coming this game. <laughs> I have never seen Laurie look so smug. It's, the like, it's, the, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, we actually chatted very briefly. He said it was a really funny bit and then had to do the character reveal. So okay. that's sure. all I got. So he just told you you were really funny yep. and then left. Yeah, he also said I'm very handsome. <laughs> doesn't say, it doesn't sound true to me either. <laughs> he said, I don't remember it like that. you're a very good boy and he loves you very much. I'd like yeah. to gossip because a yeah. fucking legend. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Has uh, anyone used and we can nominate and see what Laurie does? Like, is anyone... Like, I, feel, I feel like we should nominate today, if, if anything, to test Laurie because we, we're almost guaranteed to kill a townsfolk on the first day anyway. So I don't think we should be gun shy about nominating today. But I'd more like to test and see what Laurie's loyalties are like. Yeah. Could kill Ken. I know, mate, Ken. There you go. Okay, Adam, cool. Ken, step on up. Ooh. When bits go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm happy the with Ken that. Ken Cheng story. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam, tell us why you have nominated Ken. Ken deeply unsettles me, and I'll be happier when he's dead. That's it. <laughs> sure, Ken. Sure, but sweet. Ken. That has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. <laughs> I didn't say it was Ken. No, I'm, I'm not happy to die this game, but you know, I do seem sus. I always seem sus. That's all I got. I'm not going to reveal too much. I want to stay alive to use my power at least once. Thank you very much, gents. Take a seat. I'm getting the feeling that everyone has quite useful characters right. because no one is kind of yeah. Mm. Falling on their sword. Mm -hmm. I also feel a little bit like we are. I've said, said this to John. There's a almost a false sense of security because we know the vizier. Right. Mm. We know. Mm. It. I'm going to cut in here, guys. Uh, this isn't a discussion about whether or not we're executing Ken. It is. So I'm going to run the vote. <laughs> I was about to. Go, go on then. Go on then, Dan. Just to the point being, if we have that false sense of security, we feel like we can trust things. Maybe getting more information by not getting rid of people is a good idea. I don't know. What do you think about not killing anyone? I mean, you think we should, we should kill. just kill? We should kill? Okay, I think we should There's kill. Okay, I mean, Tom, I if, might you'd like die to, anyway. uh, if you'd like to step Such up. A... Although I will say, you have only <coughs> the evil team voting for this. Yeah. Right, there are 10 of you alive. That means five votes required if you wish to put Ken on the block. However, just one good vote is enough for the Vizier to force it through. Oh. Votes for Ken, beginning oh. with Dan in three, two, yeah. one. Yeah. One. 
Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't. Three, four votes for Ken. Okay. Laurie, in your infinite wisdom, uh. do you see Ken as deserving of death? Why would I kill my demon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes! The absolute Ken has survived. Film. Yes! <laughs> God damn it! This is my kind of game. <laughs> uh -huh. You had uh -huh. your chance. Any other nominations? <laughs> I don't Ken. like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm having a fucking yeah. blast. <laughs> I can imagine you are. Do you want to nominate anyone, Laurie? No, I'm alright. I'm happy all for right. you. No, I'm fine. Oh. I'll come for you a different day, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> Come for me in the night, it'll be great. Let's kill, let's kill. Let's kill someone. I don't know anyone who I've spoken to who is a good kill. I didn't speak to Carly or Tilly or Sully. Everyone else I've had a chat to and they seem... No, no clockmakers or librarians <clears throat> who would None. rather be dead? No. Uh, Dom, if you... would you be up for nominating someone if I asked you to? Um, I don't know who I'd nominate. Uh, could you nominate Carly? Yeah, I don't know anything about her. So it'd be a really, it'd be a really, you need some sort of like spectral lawyer. For yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dom, yeah. Is, this, is this a nomination? Uh, you, you think yes. What's your I think, it, I think it's good. It? Okay. It'll, I'll be a mouthpiece for Adam. Okay, Dom, <sighs> do you want to give the prosecution or do you want to hand it over? I'll, to I'll give the prosecution. Okay, I don't trust him, so. Carly, come on up. I'll nominate oh, yeah. Carly. You won't pass up some stage time. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets five pound bonus every time he gets to go there. Five quid. <laughs> He gets a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> okay, Ghost Lawyer, aka Dom. He's currently Brian Lawyer. He's Brian McLawyer. State your case. I'm actually Brian McBarrister at this stage, and I just <laughs> need to consult uh, the working solicitor on this case. <laughs> uh, she's claimed two roles. One has already functioned, and one is a good test. This person has claimed two roles. <laughs> one has already functioned and one is a good test. <laughs> My God, he's brilliant. My Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dom. Carly, your defense. I don't have much a defense. Uh, there's actually not just the two reasons Adam knows, but a third reason that this is also possibly a good shout. Um, I know I'm good, so it is always something that we can navigate later, but I actually don't think this is a bad death and I'm curious to see uh, what Laurie will do with it. <laughs> but I, I actually think this is fine, like absolutely fine. Condemned by your own words, my lad. <laughs> Thank you. Have a seat, guys. I, I, I agree. I agree. Okay, let's run the votes. Tom, if you'd be so kind. I votes think, uh, well, for... We're going to be last, so we don't oh, have to yeah, vote right away. To well, we can see what other people do. Votes for Carly, beginning with Adam, in three, two, one. That's one, okay. two, three, four, five, six is enough. Laurie! Hello. Would you like to force the execution of Carly? Do I want to kill my demon? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Yeah, fuck it. Hey! 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 Carly is executed. And does not die. Everybody oh. goes to sleep. Oh. Great. Good night, Ravenswood Bluff. So Ben, Carly was executed and did not die. Now one of the explanations for that, in fact, the explanation for that is that she's a leech. Indeed. However, there is a perfect cover story ready and waiting for her now. Yes, because she is sat next to Tilly the Tea Lady, and if both of Tilly's neighbors are good, they cannot die. So it may well look to most people like uh, Carly was in fact saved by the Tea Lady. I think also it might be a good idea to have a quick word about the Mazepheles, and as a storyteller, what are the best ways to sort of run and manage that power? So it really depends on the word that you get. Um, you know, I've seen, for example, uh, like if the word is a type of food, uh, let's say it's um, apple, then you could be like, hey, what's your favorite fruit? Or did you see that fruit bowl earlier on? Or what's your favorite flavor of tango? Or, you know, something like that. And you might be able to just get it out without them even realizing it. The other strategy, the blunt force strategy, is to just go up to someone and be like, yo, do you want to be on the evil team? Because the Mazefli's word is dump truck. And sometimes people just take it. And if they, even if they don't, 
if they go back into the town square and say, hey, everyone, I've heard that the Mazefli's word is dump truck. Someone will say it, probably, uh, because it is, it can, it's fun being on the evil team. Also, in a game this size, if an evil player is made, then it becomes six versus four, and the sides are a lot more even, and things start to swing in evil's favor. So there's a lot of reasons why good players might want to go mercenary and switch sides. And as a storyteller, how do you keep an eye on whether someone said that word or not? What's the best plan for that? Well, if you're playing in a normal setting, you know, like your living room or down the pub or something like that, you can generally just hover around and listen in. Uh, spoiler alert, we're in a studio here. <laughs> uh, so we've, you know, we've been doing that, but we, we've, we're fortunate that we've got a few people that are listening in for us. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, you just want to hover around. But if for some reason you can't do that, you can always just go up to the Mazefli's and say, hey, have you convinced anyone to say it yet? Uh, and if you've got a group of, you know, mature, trustworthy players, that Mazefli's, you can, you can rely on them to just tell you. Righty, our first wake up of the night is Carly the Leech. Carly chooses to kill Tilly the Tea Lady. That's good for a number of reasons. Reason number one, she's a good player and a powerful one, and you don't want her around later when things start to get confusing. But reason number two, by killing her, it makes it look as though the demon has realized she's a tea lady who's protected Carly and wants to get that out of the way. So it gives Carly a load of legitimacy. Uh, but it does now mean that Sullivan is gonna get some new information. Yes, Sullivan is now sat in between the vizier and the leech. So we wake him up and we show him a two. I wonder what he'll make of that. Next up, we wake Dom the Dreamer and he selects Dan. Now, Dan is already the spent seamstress, but I want to create a little bit of paranoia that Dan might actually be a Mazepheles. So I decide to show Dom that Dan is either the Mazepheles or the seamstress. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. Yes. You assemble in the town square to find bee-headed, like someone with a taste for honey, Tilly. Yeah, oh. fucking hell. Fuck's sake. Fuck Good luck. <laughs> oh no, Tilly's okay. dead, Should guys. Should I say what I was? <laughs> Tilly. Tilly's dead. <laughs> yeah, so I... I Tom, I hold this. me. I will. <laughs> I was the tea lady, Come and I think I arms. made that a bit too obvious, and uh, now I'm dead. I, that's fair, yeah. So I'm, I'm probably fucked it, but I'm dead now, so who cares? Who wants some fucking tea? Yeah. Fuck you, Laurie! <laughs> hey! I didn't pick you in the night. John and Dan, can I speak that's to you huge, privately, though. please? Yeah. Dan, can you tell me what your three were again? Seamstress, mm -hmm. empath, mm -hmm. cannibal. Right, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm the dreamer. Okay. Oh. I, I tested you last night. Interesting. And I got seamstress or mesopheles. I'm oh. really confused because I didn't get woken to last night. Which one are you, seamstress? I'm telling. I'm gonna. Since you got that, I'm gonna go with it because I actually need to try and game this out with some people, and I trust you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm the seamstress. On the first night, I tested you and Ken because you were both. You only get to do it once. Uh, What'd okay, you get? Fine. What'd you get? You. Well, I, I got the, you're not the same. Well, kill Ken then. This is the thing, this is why I was so curious about Laurie and Ken. I, I need to stop talking to you. You do need to stop talking yeah. to me because it's just me currently. Yes. Belligerently doing this. Yes, it is. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> help. Oh, oh okay. Ken. Don't okay. run. No, don't run, oh. Ken. Don't run. They're going to execute me Stay today. Stay with the vizier, Ken. Oh, no, I'm not going to over here. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. I'll have a lounge, wait for them to come back. So, oh, little Brooke. It's so not it is not a podcast. Okay. And because no one died, it could still be a zombie, or it could be a leech. But Ooh, okay, so if it what no, it wasn't a, yeah, so no one died, so it could be zombie. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, you're absolutely right. So Carly bluffed to me. Uh, she bluffed Sailor and she bluffed not bluff, but she told me Sailor and she told me uh, clockmaker. Okay. So yeah, obviously clockmaker done. Or yeah. so Tick she tock. could still be either of them. She could still be the sailor. Mm -hmm. um, but the fact that she didn't die points to one of two things, I think, which is either uh -huh. uh, that she is the devil's advocate, uh -huh. the devil's advocate herself. Um, that's less likely, more likely. Tilly, our tea lady, mm -hmm. Sully, Tilly, Carly, all good. 
All good. Okay, so then let's do the numbers there. So if those three are good, mm -hmm. you, you are me. good. So that gives us five. So which would point us to Ken. Ken. <laughs> Ken. Ken or Dan. Ken or Dan. Dan. They were saying Dan was weird. He has suspicious little boots. They're good looking boots. <laughs> Not made for walking, made for stomping on people. Um, You're not the demon, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is she the demon, everybody? <laughs> well, you guys are the Let me see if I can see your token. I can't see your token. <laughs> now, here's, oh, here's the thing. This might, viewers at home, you might well be watching this and going, what are you doing, Sullivan? You're mad. You're crazy. But I don't care. I'm a renegade. I'm a rebel. I'll do what I want. All right. Stop judging me. All right. Stop judging me. I'm gonna cry now. Anyway, right. Um. So I, I. Here's the interesting thing. Yeah. So I am. I am 100 percent the tea lady. Also, yes, I, can, no, I, can I believe you. I can also tell you who I took for a drink. Yes. I took John because he doesn't get information yet, Great. and I didn't want to fuck anything up. Great. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Um. If he's being honest about being king, he could be lying. But I thought yes. either way, that would be a good snipe. So I'm, a, I'm just going to tell you all the truth because I do on a social level believe you guys. Okay. Uh, even though my information is telling me, don't do this. Uh, but I am the empath. On night one I got a one, which makes sense. I'm sat next to the vizier. Night two I got a two, which would obviously incriminate you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I could definitely be poker poisoned. Um, so if you died today, that would be telling? Yes, absolutely. But that would mean if we had a poker, then your information yesterday was messed with, potentially. If they poisoned me. Oh, wait, you're a tea lady, so we wouldn't know because yeah, then I could have yeah. been fine. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. exactly. So, it, 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 the, and and the thing is, is that you know, so yeah, we'll yeah. just have to watch deaths. Well, it, it, yeah, tomorrow if I die, then I'm. Then you should then just. I, then speak I will to be. It. Yes, yeah. Mm. I, I, then you will what? I will be. will be looking a bit more towards you and thinking you're maybe a devil's advocate. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, yeah, yeah. But then you can test me again. Yeah, exactly. I, I can only. That's well, you have thought. to test me not that day, but the next day because yes. every other day. The fact that you didn't die is is quite a lot of evidence that you are good. Because yes, I believe I can that. only save someone who's good. So even and if you're lying about being Doubles the Doubles advocate can protect themselves. And yes. So, uh, okay. so yeah, you yeah. could also test me today if you're really worried about that. But I, I don't want you to waste every execution on a good no, player. Exactly. It would just be not, because if, because more because likely than not, I will not be the maid, the one who's drunk. So if, if I die, if I I die tomorrow, this, then that's actually kind of really good. Because then we can because speak to we, all of this. Yeah, then, then that makes a lot of sense. So that I was poisoned yeah. last night. What do you know, Brooke? I don't know anything. I know that you're the vizier. That's a good thing to know. What have you vizier? What have I vizier? Yeah, what have I've you seen vizier many things. Oh, yes, like what? Uh, Adam is evil. Okay. Ken is evil. Okay. You're evil. Yeah. I'm evil. Yeah. And we're all a team. We're all a team. Team evil. Team evil. Team evil. Hmm. Okay, if I, if I beat you in rock, paper, scissors. Yes. Or a thumb war, will you tell me what are the people on the evil team? One of the people on the evil team? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? We can set a date for that tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, if I beat you in rock, paper, scissors. If you beat me in rock, paper, scissors, I'll tell you someone on the evil team. Everything about this is wonderful. Do you want to turn evil? Do I want to turn evil? Yeah. Tell me what the word is. <laughs> Dump truck. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want it up? How did Daddy Ben tell you? Huh? How did Daddy Ben tell you? Uh, written down. <sighs> You can at me if you want. <laughs> you can at me if you want. I'm, I'll just say I told you as a joke. <laughs> say it. You know you want to. I will tell you everything. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, all right, tell you what, I will make my decision in the town square. Yeah. How about that? Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> you want to do it? You're. We're feeling good, are we? Yep. Either we're winning. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> All right, let's see. Have oh, you oh. seen the state of this town? Very nice. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. There's Is that far too many of you alive. Nominations are open. I would like, if I may, to make a nomination. And I would like to nominate... Kenjamin Button. <laughs> <laughs> Again? <laughs> Again? He keeps getting younger. <laughs> and more guilty. <laughs> okay, Dan, please tell us why you have chosen to put Ken on the stand. Hi everyone. I'm really thrilled that we're all here together. Um, I would like to have Ken, I guess, tested, maybe killed, because I 
am the town's seamstress. Oh. And I used my ability on the first night to check my dear neighbors, Ken and John. And I was told a hard no. <gasps> they were not the same alone. Oh. So, subsequently, I have been checked by a particular role and sort of verified. Ken has also offered me three, one of which was the tea lady. And we seem to have lost that already. Ken is sus af. And I would like <laughs> <laughs> to see him on that there block and to see what Laurie might do about it. Thank you. Ken. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Great! Oh, Thanks for much, well, well done, Jane. <laughs> You've won the money. <laughs> what is happening? Cut to a dump truck of money backing up your house. Um, no, uh, I don't know. I, I don't trust John now based on that, but you could equally be poisoned. It could be a leech game. I don't really know. I don't have that much good info because no one talked to me. Though I did get to talk to the vizier again today, so <laughs> you might base sus, on that. Is it? Huh? That ain't sus. Not even a little it's bit. It's the most sus thing ever, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sus. <laughs> Great defense, Ken. Thank you. Everybody Fantastic. have a seat. No, I think we this Fantastic. <clears throat> okay. There are nine of you alive. That means five votes required. Voting for Ken, beginning with Dan in three. Two, beginning. one, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Five votes for Ken is enough, but that doesn't matter, does it, Laurie? Not in my <laughs> world. Would you like to force it? <sighs> Can I kill my demon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill him. <gasps> in that case, Ken, you have been executed. And now you are an ex Ken. You die. Ooh. Good night, Ravenswood Bluff. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. So Ben, I think the first thing we need to talk about is before Ken was executed, someone did successfully say the Mazepheles' word. Yeah, but unfortunately, Ken the Mazepheles died, and so no change. I mean, I, there's no way that was a coincidence, right? He, mu he must have known that was the word. The only other possible explanation is that Ken has used the word in a conversation with Adam. It has been in Adam's mind, and so it was a word that came to him when he wanted to make that comment. But I do not think that is what happened. Yeah. I think he tried to jump ship. Yeah, I agree. It's <laughs> <laughs> like you said, you know, one time out of three, someone thinks, you know what? Why not? Why not indeed? First of all, we wake Carly. This time she chooses Sullivan. The empath, which is a sensible choice, I think, uh, because he's about to get more information uh, that confirms she's evil. So, good call. Next up, we wake Dominic, our dreamer. He selects Brooke, and we show him either gossip or Mazepheles. I'm trying very hard to hammer in the paranoia that there is still a Mazepheles around, because, as we've seen, Adam has said the word. And if it gets out that that is what the word is, people might start being wary of Adam. Finally, we wake Adam, the cannibal. Now, the player executed yesterday was evil, Ken, so Adam is poisoned. I would normally use this as an opportunity to pretend that Adam has gained the ability that the evil player was bluffing. But because he's Ken, he never seems to want to bluff any good players and just comes out as evil <laughs> straight away. So. I've just randomly selected one of the three demon bluffs, in this case, Noble, and I just arbitrarily select three players to show Adam on the off chance that Ken does try to claim to be the Noble. And that concludes night three. Still no King information yet, but we are on the cusp of it. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. You assemble in the town square to find, lacerated by nail and talon. I guess someone didn't see the claws in their contract. Sullivan. Good luck. No. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, is, this is probably a good thing. I think we have a pucker. 
Um, uh, that's my working theory at the moment. And the reason why is because I was the empath. Um, I uh, got a one on the first day. Makes perfect sense. I'm sat next to a very evil person here. Um, and then on the next day, I got a two. And I just don't think that Carly is evil. So, and that's not, that's just, that's on a social level, but also I think that the, the Vizier going for their own minion on the first day is a bold play, but it, the only other minion they could be is the Devil's Advocate, and that's such a useful minion to keep around. I think that's bold to presume that the Devil's Advocate has protected themselves on the first day, um, and hope that that's the case. Uh, so, uh, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, and I also think tea lady stuff, all that kind of stuff. But Adam, what are your thoughts? I can counter that um, privately. Sullivan, okay. can, I, before like before everyone goes, can I just float the theory that it's possible Carly is the leech, and that's why she didn't die? And uh, oh yeah, just yeah. as an option. Yeah. I just no, 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 and I, I recognize that as a viable world. Um, I think it's fairly, I mean, obvious from what he said that I'm our sailor, yeah. and so uh, there's there's a world in which I cannot die all the time. If you're worried about DA, you can feel free to test it, but lining it up, you should do it tomorrow. I have a bunch of Hold on, why you I thought you were yeah. protected by a tea lady. We, 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 weren't, we actually did that test because I wasn't sure if I could make myself drunk, I wasn't sure, but I, we both basically confirmed that it was a double way in which I could stay alive and either test was worth it. That's great because that was the other role that Liar Ken claimed. I did so lie all, about all three of all my roles. All three of his roles have been claimed by other people. So yeah, that's fine. even better that he is dead. Ken, can we speak in the laundry please? Okay. I'm deeply upset with you, Ken. Yes. <laughs> you Why? Fucking Why? Bastard. Just, because Wait. I said your little word. Wait, you still turned. I didn't. You didn't turn. No, didn't you didn't turn. turn. You didn't turn. Would I, would I know? I'd be told if I was evil. Yeah, yeah, you would be. Ken, why are you such a liar all the time? <laughs> so, Ken. Yes. Um, tell me your townsfolk role now, because I know what it is. <laughs> why? Ken. Why do you know, you know what it is? I know what it is. You don't know what it is. I do know what it is. You have no idea what it is. You're the noble, Ken. No, why would you say that? Because I was woken in the night and got given three names, because I'm the cannibal. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, wow. of course, unless, of course, you were the Mazevelis and you just didn't. Yeah, then you were poisoned. Yeah. 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 Which is possible. Yeah. Maybe someone else already said that word. Anyway, look, here's my names. <laughs> Dan, Laurie, Carly. Possibly I've been given, because okay. I'm poisoned, all three evil players. Either way, I okay. think Carly is our... Carly could possibly be our leech. Uh, oh, actually, no, not all three evil players, because you weren't on the list. Maybe I've been given two. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else, Ken? Or are you just going to... Um, to invent three names now. Uh, John Carly Sullivan. All right. Ken, you're so hard. You're what? such hard what? work. What? What? Tell me the what? truth. Why? <laughs> well, I'm the cannibal. I might die, but yeah. uh, I'm going to keep a, a very good I think eye you're on. poisoned. That's what you Because you're the Mazepheles, of yeah. course. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm outed evil. I'm trying to play outed evil this game. <sighs> We've already got one out at evil. Your yeah, spot's been two, filled. Two out at evil is very funny. Jesus um, wept. Sue, seen any good movies lately? <laughs> About demons and such? It's been months of harrowing demon work. You are so loving this, aren't you? I'm having a great time. <laughs> great. This is almost better than the Christmas episode. Oh, oh because you just get to be your evil I just get to be. Can't, can't do anything to me. Just gotta yeah. chill. Uh, who's your demon? It's Carly. It's Carly. Someone help me! Do we definitely trust Sully? I do. I think I, I do. Think I do. Uh, and I'm, now I'm dead as well. Yeah. So, it, it, um, it, I, so here, here's, so I sp we spoke to Dan, and Dan gave us three for three. I tested Dan, one of those came back, which was uh, Seamstress. Seamstress. Which is one of his claims. Great, yeah. that's really and good. And Brooke is claiming quite, not, not fully hard, but quite hard that she's the gossip. Mm. But oh, she's not gossip. No, she didn't gossiped. gossip yesterday. But the, the the execution was rushed. True. But she didn't gossip. And I tested her last night. I got Mazepheles and gossip. Okay. So, so that... that's a little bit suspicious. Okay, I'm gonna hard quench you. I'm the gossip. Um, I asked if there was a big guy. No second time. Mm. And I didn't have time to gossip yesterday. Okay. Um, so I'm going to gossip immediately. Well, actually, if you gossip first, it'll mm. help hide me. Have you claimed to anyone else? To Adam. Because you've chatted to Adam a couple of yeah. times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. has Adam claimed to you? You don't need to tell me what yeah. it was. He has. Mm -hmm. And that seems I viable. trust him. Weirdly. I never trust Adam. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ken told me 
that he was the Mesopheles and he told me a word and I said the word and it didn't ping. Fuck Ken. <laughs> He offered me an in to the evil he's, team. I'm guessing he's DA if he was trying to bluff as me. Maybe. I don't know. But if he's dead DA, that's way better for because if otherwise we might have a hard time pinpointing Leech versus Leech host. Yeah. Which is a potential problem. I, I, I do not know. I just basically chewed Ken out for lying to me. I was just like, ah, you know what? Uh, it was the, the word was dump truck which is why I said the word <laughs> dump truck. And I tell you what, coming back to town, thinking about how am I going to put the word dump truck into this fucking game? It's a dump truck of a game. He raised my hopes. Tell Steve, it's a dump truck of a game. Is he one of yours? Is he one of us? Is he one of fucking yours? Yeah, he's one of us. Did you say ours? <laughs> thing is, oh, I, the I reds. The thing is, I also think Ken could be a townsfolk, and I kind of know which one, <laughs> but I, I don't know, because he won't give me a straight fucking answer. He's, hard, he's playing it on hard mode Are every you hard time. At this point? Uh, I've hard claimed before. I, I'm not going to hard claim to you just now, just because I think there is a little bit of sus on you, uh, re leech. So I can tell you who I picked the first day, if that helps. Would that yeah. help you and still trust yeah, me? Yeah, who'd you pick? I picked Brooke first, and then I went for John after, after I knew that role. Brooke first, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's actually okay. Yeah. Do you want to play rock, paper, scissors, Larry? Oh, no, I don't like games. What? You, but you said... You said what? Yesterday that if I beat you in rock, paper, scissors, you would tell me what are the evil team. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. It's a three, two, one, go, yeah. though, yeah? Yeah. Three, three two, two, one, go. go. Ha-ha! Oh, okay, it was Ken. Okay, what is he? I'm not this telling you what he is. I'm telling you that it's Ken. <laughs> we just got back from a chat, and the mm, scissors mean something. Does it? <laughs> Does it? I don't know about this. Dead. <laughs> Dan, do you want, do you want a code? Yeah. I'd love a code, Come but then. it seems like it's I'll too tell you the other one. See if I can crack it. I'll tell you. I'll if you beat me at rock paper scissors. Okay. I'll tell you. Okay. Another member of the evil team. <clears throat> oh, it's Brooke. Don't so it's, don't it's Ken, let him do this. It's to Ken us, and it's Brooke. Dan, don't don't let him do this. Goodness me. So in this worldview. Yes. That you were either lying about your three roles or you were the dreamer. No, I'm not a dreamer. But to me, you claimed tea lady, sailor, and dreamer. I just gave three random roles. Okay, why would you do such a thing? <laughs> uh, to try and sink a kill at some point. Try and get the demon to kill me, because they're all quite powerful. Oh. They're, well, not all of them are powerful, but I just wanted to give out roles. A sailor wouldn't get killed, but the other two are quite strong. So why would you want the demon to kill you? Uh, just because I'm a used role. You're a useful role? A the... used role. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm the noble. Oh. I've got John, Carly and Sullivan. I'm, I feel like Carly's lying to me. But well, if it, Dan it, is correct, John is evil. It would be such bad luck for Carly to, for me to be the tea lady and be sat next to the leech. That yeah. would just suck. Also, she did not die the first day, so unless she got devil's advocate, or she's the leech. But if she's the leech, then Laurie wouldn't know that because they never chatted, and he chose mm. to kill her. That's a very dangerous mm. move. So you think she's good? Unless the devil's advocate picked her. Okay. But then the minion would have had. Who did she talk to night one? Because she would have had to pick. She only talked to me and Sullivan on the first day. Okay. Yeah, Brooke, yes. Brooke, 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 Brooke. Yes, yes. I just, talk, I just spoke to Carly. Okay. She took you out for a drink day one. Okay, cool. Great. Okay. Great. Amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. I've just talked to Brooke. Oh, yeah? Thoughts? Mm. Okay. Uh, intrigued to play it out. I think she's a good girl. I'm also happy to be in there. I've got Basically, these based two on Dom. I just had to broke. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to tell I got, I got Mazepanese or gossip. She didn't gossip yesterday. Cool. I think. She, I think if you're the gossip. Hello. I think if you're the gossip, you definitely. Kill me again. Not happen. She yet. said the reason she didn't is because Kill me it all happened so quickly. She didn't have an opportunity. I don't just scan because I'm on it straight away. I trust my word. I just don't think you forget. Right? It's your only thing. I'm gonna gossip tonight, and then also I'm probably gonna be nominated by one of Carly or. And I'm fine to die. Okay. What, is, that, is that good for you to die? I, I can't offer anything else. I know. In terms of learning information. Yeah. Yeah. Third one. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the bin. Make way oh. for the nominations because they are open. 
I would I'd like, like to gossip. Oh. <laughs> okay. We are twins. I know. <laughs> oh, no. I think finally. Go, go on then. Go on. We'll go with Dan first. Okay. I would like to gossip that the demon is wearing green. Wearing what? Green. Green. Okay. Thank you. I would like to gossip the demon is an imp. Thank you. I would like to gossip that the demon is on this bench. This Thank side. you. I would like to gossip that the uh, uh, that the that the leech host is on this bench. Yeah. <laughs> Blown the whole game open. Wide open. <laughs> Wide open. I nominate my evil twin, Dan. Okay, yeah. Adam and Dan. Come on up. Moses. I'm going up. Inside in a while. I thought you meant match, like get in. Get <laughs> yeah. Twin. Oh yeah. S surprise. <laughs> Adam, please state your case. I mean, I'm partly doing it for the visual, but also <laughs> you spent. I have heard rumors around the town of someone who might be able to use your body. <laughs> so let's kill you. Thank you, Adam. Also, Adam, <laughs> would you like to defend yourself? Uh, I would like to defend myself against the charge of being the evil twin. First of all, <laughs> uh, the green, if nothing else, proves that my uh, intentions are pure and natural. Uh, I actually don't have anything to defend myself on whether or not I should be killed. My, my uh, use as the town seamstress is spent. Um, and I have enjoyed chatting to everybody and, and learning some new things and passing that along, but I can continue to do that from the grave. So if you would like to kill me, no problem. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Mm. Down May I ask a question? Of course. Sat down. Question for the prosecution. Uh, could you elaborate on what you mean by using his body? <laughs> <laughs> Is it a sex thing? Oh, no. It's not primarily a sex thing. They can't afford my fee. <laughs> it's uh, a culinary thing. Hmm. Will you take a look at the script, Dan? Oh, I see. So you're saying yeah. cannibal I, in game. I can okay. confirm. I've also heard there is one. Oh, right. I see. I'm with you. Uh, okay. Uh, let's run the vote, guys. So there are seven of you alive. That means four of your human votes required. Votes for Dan, beginning with John in three, two, one. That's one. Two. Is that up, Carly? Yeah. Three. That goes, though. Four. Five. No, Carly's alive. Is enough. Oh, yeah, of course. I didn't know. Vizier. I can... Do you Vizier this one going through? Do I want to kill my demon? Kill me. For fuck's sake. Go on. I dare you. Oh. Oh, okay. What a coy Vizier. However, Dan is on the block with five. Any other nominations? I'm really fine with this. I think every aspect of Adam's logic is sound yeah. and I have nothing left to offer. So please feel free. A quick question. Uh, we executed Ken yesterday. Who were you? I was a noble. Oh. Oh. Go on. I got you, haven't, you, you haven't been forthcoming with that. Yeah. No, I wanted, to, I wanted to sink a kill from the demon because I'm playing fancy. Uh, I got <laughs> I'm very noble. I got John, Carly, and Sullivan. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Make of that what you will. I shall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, if I hear no more nominations, I'll bring the day to a close in five, four, three, two, one. Dan has been executed. Bye. And he dies. Good night, Ravenswood. <laughs> so Dan has been executed today, and it is the first execution that Laurie did not use his vizier power to force through. Yeah, good call. Uh, it needs to happen sooner or later. It will probably have people wondering whether or not Dan uh, was evil, and that combined with the fact that Ken came out and claimed to be the noble might actually have bought Ken some legitimacy, which I honestly did not see coming at all. If he's able to claw any legitimacy back from those first couple of days, that would be amazing. And yeah, it might just happen. So, on to night four. Once again, we wake Carly first and she chooses who to kill. In this instance, she's chosen Dom. That's a smart choice. Dom is still getting information. In fact, if you don't count the cannibal, he's 
the only character still getting regular information. Uh, next, we wake up Adam, who, because Dan the Seamstress was executed yesterday, now has the Seamstress's ability. He selects Brooke and John, and correctly gets a yes, meaning that he learns that they are both on the same team. Of course, that is the good team. However, one of them, Brooke, is in fact the leech host. Brooke has not made a single correct gossip, so there's actually currently no evidence that she's poisoned which might just carry the evil team into the late game. With five players left alive, Carly is going to have to start thinking about killing Laurie in the night, lest he be alive in final three, and it be an easy decision between two players. However, if he is alive in final three, he may be able to force through an execution on the wrong person. Good morning. Ravenswood Bluff. Was the demon drunk? Because someone's been imp ailed. <laughs> Done. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, it was me. Good luck. Yeah. 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 Oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Dom. Oh, my God. Does this does this paint Sally Bob's a frame job, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. It was um, after you told just, him. Do you think it's worth me just? I. I, I I mean, now, now there's, now there's talk of pings on you. I trust Dan. Do you think I should tell everyone what I, what I am and everything? The pings from Ken, just to be clear. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, no, I, mean, I, I, still, trust, I still relatively trust you. Well, um, what do you think? I don't know if there's necessarily harm at this stage. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'll tell you. I was the dreamer. Uh, on the first night, before, you know, before everything started, I checked Laurie and I got dreamer and vizier, which was a complete waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was before it, it was before it was before announced that he was the vizier. Happened. Oh yeah. right, okay. Yeah. I thought for a moment. Yeah, imagine then. I didn't I check. Just want to check. I don't <laughs> trust Daddy Ben. Not anymore. Uh, but conveniently, that means that I wasn't. You know, some weird stuff wasn't going on for me. Um, I've tested. I've I've heard three for threes from people. I tested Dan. One of his came up with Mazepheles. The way we were talking, it didn't feel like a Mazepheles trying to get me to say something. So I. Trusted him. It was also Mazepheles and Seamstress, which you then... Mazepheles and Seamstress, nice. which you then can't claim, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've tested uh, Brooke. Uh, I got a Mazepheles, and I don't want to say what the other one is, just in case. Um, I... That's... that's did, did you get to test before? That's no, three. you would have died. No, I died. If, um, if there is a pucker, though, that third one... If there was a pucker, I could have been poisoned yesterday. I'm not sure Brooke. what that means. But I, what I will say is that the, I got Mazepheles and one of the roles that Brooke had three for threed with me. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes sense. Um, maybe not that useful. I don't know. Okay. Um, all I will say is you told me ages ago and didn't die. I feel like I would have just got you killed if I knew you were the dreamer from day one, I think. Yes. So I've stayed alive for quite a long time. I, I told John day one. I told Dan day one. I told Sullivan yesterday. Yep. Uh, and you would have already been poisoned by then, though. To be fair, yes, so that actually doesn't make you look guilty. Yes, what happened the day before. And yeah. I did put it in I a three for three with did. Brooke. So, and yeah. the three for three, you could have told the demon. I the three for three I picked yeah. were all powerful roles, so that they would have killed me. Anyway. I will say as well, when we came back into the town, I talked with Adam and Brooke, and very briefly to Carly, but all like in a circle. Um, so that can't have been the evil yeah. team. I really so, yeah, don't yeah, think, yeah. Yeah. based on. Yeah. No. When you died, that it was Sully because you'd yes. already been possibly already poisoned. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Makes sense. Possibly. Beautiful. Um, so there we go. That's me. My dreams have ended. But what dreams may come? And we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Must give us pause. Do the whole thing. You have to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You have to pay for that chat, national theatre. Who wants to talk to me? Uh, I would like to speak to you, uh, John we, and Brooke. Please. We haven't chat yet, have we? Yeah. yeah. We, all, right. all three of us speak. Right. Yeah. Fortune tellers. Like yeah. Great. Uh, so I um, am our cannibal. And I'm the cousin. Oh. We've been kind of splitting it between the both of us. Okay. So what did you get last week? Uh, so I ate Dan and therefore became a seamstress, and I found out that you two. Are on the same team. Cool. Um, did you Wait, get hold anything? on. You're the gossip. Yes. Why didn't you gossip day two? I I didn't have time. Yeah. No. Literally. Like, I literally. was. That's my. I literally. Uh, the nomination happened and Laurie put it through. Cool. We didn't have time. Dan. Wait, did Laurie put it through? Dan immediately put his hand up to nominate. Nominated Ken and yeah. Laurie put it through. Okay, and so. I literally was like, oh shit. Um, I don't know if you heard me because we we're on the same bench, but like, yeah. Okay. Um, but what, what did you gossip yesterday? Yesterday, I gossiped that the demon was on our side, mm -hmm. 
and not a second person die. But theoretically, Carly took me out for a drink on the first night, um, and I gossiped that it was a puka, and nobody died either. However, that says the only alive person on the other side is Carly. Yeah. I really am worried that Carly is the leech, and I mm. think if she doesn't die this time, that kind of proves it. Yeah, yeah? and then someone and then someone dies in the night, you get your stuff, yeah. or they you might die. But either way, that's fine because that ties up a lot of stuff. Because I think possibly one of us is our is the leech host, or maybe demon and minion. But I'm not feeling that right now. Should we gossip again? I'm gonna gossip that the demon it, it's a leech game. Fine, so fine. absolutely. No, I don't trust Brooke. Uh, I haven't checked. I've only checked her for like three seconds and uh, her face <laughs> isn't trustworthy to me right now. But she wouldn't be able in that situation to be the demon itself so because be. I picked her and, yes. Yes, and I dark. still didn't die so yeah. I wasn't drunk. Yep. Can Which I come in? At best, she could. I, I don't believe her, mm -hmm. but I think she's a minion at best. Adam's whispering in her ear. Is Adam mm -hmm. our death hooker? Maybe. So, so you were saying? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why I didn't die. I think because because I, I think Tilly was. If, if it's a puka, I could also be wrong, and it's like Lee Chosen, and like the like other mm -hmm. things are happening. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I mean, we're running out of options for. Lee I think. It, I think. I think. Mm -hmm. I think. I think what it. If Brooke is. Playing it, I don't think she. I think at best she could be a minion. Then, I, but I think Adam then would be our demon. Brooke, Adam, and Carly all last night very strongly suggested that I die. And I'm I went getting with evil it. vibes from from Carly. People are getting evil. Vibes. I've heard that from someone else. Mm. I've also heard evil vibes about Brooke. Mm. She's been very quiet, which you know she, she has like, hard claim to me. What does she claim to you? Can you say you don't have to say? <sighs> I don't have to say, but the problem is. Her hard claim has now failed twice. D does she have an ability that you haven't seen her use? I've, seen, I've had an ability that I've seen her suggest she use and I haven't seen it work. Twice. Ooh. Which, you know, it, she would probably be more nervous about if it wasn't. Yeah. She'd be like, there's a pucker. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and she yeah. hasn't said that. Mm. No <laughs> bullshit today. There are five of you left alive. That means three votes required. Nominations are open. I'd like to gossip, please. Please I'd do. I'd like to gossip. There's a leech. A leech? Yes. I would also like to gossip. And I'd like to gossip that there's an imp. I'd like to gossip. Aren't you dead? Yeah, dead. but I want to gossip anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to be joined in. Never mind. No, 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 I feel bad now. Please no, 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 no. <laughs> I just wanted to join in. I, I must insist. <gasps> I'd like to gossip that I'm great. <laughs> I still feel bad though. Oh, no, well, no, no, someone's going to No die. extra deaths yeah. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to gossip. I'm dead. Yes. Yeah, I would like, I would like to see a particular um, American take the stand. A particular American? Yeah, that one. It's <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. Oh, nope. I'm happy to see her nominated as well, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I want someone to nominate Brooke. Because I feel like she needs to do some chatting and do, defending. Do some chatting and defending? Yeah, I'm curious Oh, about goodness, you. Dan, I've made... Oh, okay. Um, would you like me to nominate myself? No, not necessarily. Just someone else who might also be curious could make the case. Richard Cooper, I'm also dead. Not, oh, yeah, all the, all the curious ones are dead. I'm, I'm dead, dead, so I can't nominate. I, can I nominate story. Brooke. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Laurie, Brooke, would you please step up to the stand? Oh, there he is. I mean, Laurie, this is ridiculous. Why would I do this to my demon? For <laughs> sake. Your eminence, if you'd please state your case. Why would I kill my demon? Thank you. Brooke, it's going to be pretty hard because that was like five words, but would you like to defend yourself? <laughs> yes, uh, I am not the demon. I have been doing some unsavory things in this Oops. town. Um, <laughs> I'm in fact your town's cannibal. Um, oh. And I have been chomping on some bits, which has been really interesting because it has helped me verify some roles. So when Ken was executed, I got some noble information and it was noble information, but that could also be some bullshit. Um, but last night I learned something interesting, which is I got to eat a lovely little seamstress. So Dan, I wholeheartedly believe, wholeheartedly believe you. So even though I swallowed some scissors, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Don't do it. Um, I do trust you because I got, I asked about John and I asked about Adam. 
and I got a yes that they're on the same team. So that is what I believe. That is my claim. That's who I am. I've used a lot of stuff, but I'm a good person. Yes. Oh, I have a point for to discussion in a moment. Would you like it now or later? Um, I mean, you are kind of half in the light, aren't you? Can you like, shove your head up here? Yeah. <laughs> Spectral advocate. Um, <laughs> a a, a ghoulie at law. <laughs> uh, uh, if, if, if Brooke speaketh sooth here, uh, then I would suggest that this means it's a pucker game yeah. and that I was poisoned when I got my read on her of Gossip and Mazepheles. Uh, I did not get Cannibal and Mazepheles, so that would suggest it's a pucker, which therefore means that if Brooke is about to die, she's poisoned now, which means she might have seamstress powers, but it might be bullshit. Just something to consider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Adam, do you think I should just put everything on the table? Yeah, that's actually uh, cleared things up a lot. Uh, final thing, did you get that information the night, the day before you died? Uh, it was, it was yes. the night before I died, I didn't wake up. So it was the night before that, that I got that information. Huge. Okay, okay. Yeah. so, all right, I just lied to you. I'm not a cannibal, I'm a gossip. I'm always gossiping, always lying. Right. Um, so, uh, and I, I roll quit. swapped with Adam. Um, so that is why we were being KG because we both gossiped about the demon tonight. So um, we were trying to figure out what was going to go on, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so Adam got that information about Dan. He actually asked about myself and John and got a yes that we're on the same team. So I am the gossip. First night, nobody died. I asked about a puka. Second night, I could not gossip because Dan was very ready to ask, which is cool. I believe about it. All about talking in the town. Third night, I asked if the demon was on this side. Nobody died. So, take that with a grain of salt. If you're killing me, you're killing the gossip. And that is not cool, because I keep the town spicy. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> have a seat, guys. I keep the town spicy. It's very interesting. If, if we do have a puka, and you are the gossip, there's a possibility that you were Poisoned? No, would you have died by now? Well, here's the, the thing. Um, Dom's information strongly suggests we don't have a pucker. Because uh, Dom got it right. If we uh, believe yeah. that Brooke is... Well, I believe Dom. You guys haven't spoken. I feel... Huh? Right? What? You he, guys, knew that, you guys yeah. he knew that yeah. before oh, okay. she said it yeah. just yeah. now, though. Right, okay. I feel like this pucker narrative is really being pushed yeah. very suddenly. I'm worried about host. I'm honestly. worried about that this is a leech game. I get leech vibes and I just want to make sure that <gasps> we're still discussing that oh. possibility and not mm. just being led. Wait a minute. Are we making the same mistake we always make and forget that there's a zombool on the script? Zombool's not possible. It's not possible. Is that possible? Uh, there was a death on night one. Uh, night two. Mm. Okay. It, it, Could it, that be a gossip death? So there was a night in which I did not gossip and there was still a death after an execution. If, right. if, if you're the gossip, that night you gossiped that there was a... Hooker, which means that that wouldn't have caused death if it was a zombie, right? Who died in the night just for imp sake? Right, I'm gonna, you guys can discuss this to your heart's content afterwards, but we're gonna run the vote. Uh, there are now just five of you alive, so that's a measly three votes required today. Uh, remember dead guys, if you use it, it's gone. Votes for Brooke, beginning with Ken in three, I'm dead. two, yeah. one. Good players do not players. vote for this. I don't know what's happening, man. Zero is not enough. Laurie, would you like to force that one through? I can't force that one through. <laughs> Correct. <Sad. laughs> you passed the test. Okay. Any other nominations? Adam nominates Carly. Adam nominates Carly. Step up. Okay, Adam. State your case. Thank you. But N, I think we are down to the point where I, I strongly consider Leech. I think it's time to test Carly again. Uh, considering who you've been drinking with, uh, I see no reason why you are... I see no reason why you're drunk, so let's test you. Um, and if you are uh, drunk, I want your drunkenness out of the town, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Adam. Golly. There we are. Um, I think that's fair, um, considering who I've been drinking with. Uh, I, I would probably agree. There's no reason that I would be. Um, you can test me if you like. Is this the right night to test me? This five alive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Then yeah. If you if you guys feel the need, then then go for it. Um, I we will see what happens. Versus me versus uh, whether John is drunk today. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Have a seat. 
Yeah. I'm Deba, so I'm not going to be voting for this, but... I am sort of Carly. Mm. I think this is good, though. So if she it's... doesn't die again... Yeah, I don't think, I don't think she'll die. But, I mean, I think... you're, you're referencing drunkenness. Do you, are you accusing her of being a sailor? Yeah. That's right. what she's claimed. So... But she could waste, also then... be... The leech. She's been drinking. Yeah. She could also be leech. There's a worldview that exists that I could be the leech, and I understand it because by my role's default, I might not die when I'm executed. Um, all I have to say is, uh, I mean, I guess the only worldview that I'm like kind of fighting is the the Brook hypothesis. Um, and didn't you gossip when I didn't drink with you about a demon being on that side? Yes. And, and then immediately, it was Dom that died, leaving me being the only one on this side. And I'm not saying like I couldn't do that, but I'm saying like. No I'd be pigeonholing there. myself in that way and pushing everyone towards hosts. I'm not convinced it's not a host, but like, um, evidently not me. <laughs> um, so, but um, but it, it's worth a test if you guys need to get out. I would rather you test it now than be silly later. On that point as well, uh, on the first day, we three went and chatted in the fortune teller's hut. The only person who chatted to Laurie all day, first day, was poor old Ken. Yeah, who, that is who, true. Who could well have been good the whole time. Um, there was no way that Laurie would have known exactly what demon yeah. Carly was, if Carly was the demon. And he's taking a big risk there, pushing that execution through if she is the demon. Not saying, you know, not saying anything about whether good or evil, but very unlikely to be the demon just because there is a real risk that you're just going to kill your demon straight away and we have to re-rack and it's... Can I ask <laughs> a question? So I'm worried about a yes. host somewhere uh, over Tilly's here. got a question. Can I ask a question about the leech? Go for it. Can they ch change who they've leached onto? No, no. Okay. Not unless a new leech is made somehow. Okay. Yes. And we don't right. have that ability in this one. Can I ask a question of the town? Brief, a brief question. What's the vibe on the other minion? That I was going to answer your question with. Mm. DA. Tells Laurie. Protected. That's why... That's, that, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. A, that's, a, that's yeah. why we should that's be doing it. That's why we should be point. trying Carly again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I agree. Right. I'm not we're, a DA, so... We are going to... Guys, we are going to... Let's talk. Guys, guys, we're going to run the votes. Uh, once again, five living players, three votes required. Votes for Carly, beginning with Adam in three, two, one. If I was alive, I'd be voting for this. I yeah, think. I'm not going to One. Be It'll two, be enough. Three. Yeah, that's all this is fine. Is enough. If I die, I die. But Laurie, would you like to force this through? But why would I kill my demon? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, force it through. Oh. Carly is executed and does not die. Come on now. Good, Good. night, very Ravenswood very, Bluff. Very good, right? Mm. I think that's all very good. Mm -hmm. We seem sad, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. Carly executed again. Carly does not die again. Yeah, I mean, she's in hot water now. I think that anyone really paying attention knows that she's the leech at this point. It's, uh, it's a question of who is the host, really, I think. So, night five. First things first, it's time for Carly to kill. She chooses Adam the cannibal. I think that's a fairly sensible choice. We now find ourselves in a situation where there are more dead than alive players. So finally, John the king wakes up. It's a difficult decision who to show John. We could show him leech, but well, that would definitely convince everybody that a leech is in play. We could show him King or Vizier, but that seems a little harsh, considering he's managed to survive this long. So we decide to show him that a gossip is in play. This will confirm Brooke is good, and Brooke has yet to make a true gossip, meaning that she may well not be poisoned. Of course, we know she is. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. You assemble in the town square to find. Poached in boiling water like a stolen egg. Adam. Oh. Good luck. It's, ah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll get over it. It's a leech game. Mm -hmm. I gossiped last night that it was an imp. Nobody died. It can't be a zombie. Yeah, because it was the first night. Um, unless Carly and someone did... someone just died in the night there as well. Someone yeah. just died in the night, which was a with... demon kill. Oh, but that was with no kills, so oh, it could. That sorry, that doesn't oh, speak to a zombie. But ladies and gentlemen, please pray silent for the king. Yeah, I go. Um, oh, yeah. 
my uh, your your leisures. Um, I got that there is a gossip in the game. Oh, which confirms okay. you. But I also could be drunk. Sorry, uh, could be I could be leech poisoned. Or in which case that would be wrong. Is there is there a world in which John is evil? Yes. I, I think we are looking at or a leech. point where he's leech host or evil. I, and, Either way, so my, my I could probably for, be leech host. My argument for evil is that I got Ken, I checked Ken and John and was told they weren't the same alignment. So if he's on the level, then we, and this was night one. Yeah. So I, that's not a good argument. I also want to point no, out. No, 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 but it's not of you being evil. He's just, he, he, he's a scam too. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 go ahead. No, I was just, I was just saying, you said it was not a good. Experience. Oh, but same alignment. You were, you were different alignments. Yeah, but he's definitely evil. <laughs> but we don't know that now. I'm pretty sure he is. And also, I will say the king is a really good, if it's not in play, you basically, you're, you're spending the whole game arguing that we should kill as many people as possible. No, that's fair. That's totally fair. The one thing we do have to be wary of when it comes to alignment and things is Miss Ephelis can also change an alignment. Mm. In a lot of the worldviews, I'm considering like one thing's being thrown off where it feels like there's like an extra liar in play. And so we alignment. could actually have four evil players when right I now. We so. just have to keep that in mind, especially with votes and when like and what's beatable versus what's not. We could have four. Agreed. When I check the alignment, Ms. Everly's hadn't had a chance. Also, okay. we do have to talk about like, if Ken was on the level, um, I ate him and I got three names, which was, um, what am I, I think three it was, names? I think it was me. It was Carly. John, Carly, and Laurie. That doesn't make any sense. Which doesn't make sense. No, no, sense. it wasn't. It was Actually. Dan, Carly, and Laurie. Oh, no, yeah, it was me. I think you said it was me, didn't you? you no, you're no. Ken's. I'm one of your, my, your, I got John, me. Carly Sullivan. Yeah, yeah. So Carly's um, probably there. I feel like you're ripe. To, if, if you're being honest, I feel like you're ripe to be Lee Chost if left alive right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, think Lee evil. Chost is definitely. I think there was no one that was indicating that an actual choir boy was like fluttering about. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a choir boy. Just to re make sure that we all know that, uh, yeah, Carly wasn't, couldn't have been DA protected the first night and last night. Right. Unless the DA is still alive. And unless the DA has been like or, shooting it around. Or, they, they don't have to go like yeah, sequentially. One, two, one, so two. In, in theory, I could have been. But it's Please unlikely. Don't. I'm not or, the or, leech or, host. Like, like I... Or you could be the leech, because the leech can't die. Of yeah, course. I think Carly's the leech, yes, can I, but again, can I posit a theory? Yeah, I think. Which, if, if the, four, the four remaining alive, as far as I, I'm aware, you two and you two, yeah? Is it possible that Adam was evil working in a sort of three, Brooke is the host. Or well, one of them has been Mazepheles, and so there's I four think evil. It is also yeah. quite possible that uh, someone else was turned as well. Because yeah. I, do, I, I do believe that, yeah. Um, I Carly, don't know. Just... you're claiming Sailor, right? Yeah. And you would have been drinking with me the whole time, I didn't right? drink with you uh, after today. After when? After today. I only, I, dr I started drinking with Brooke again because I knew we'd be, you'd start getting info. It's a very smart strategy. If you're I, not so a as soon as I, I started drinking, I chose Brooke the first day. Then I started drinking with you because I knew you you claimed king. There was you weren't going to get info until later. As soon as I knew that we were going to hit the point that you'd get info, I stopped drinking with you. Okay. In which case, if we can't rule out because you drank with Brooke that it's an imp game, you cannot be DA protected twice in a row. I do think it's worth sinking a kill on you today. Yeah. I don't know. At I, this I, point, I'm just a little bit like we keep. Going yeah, for we someone keep who has to execute dying, won't, won't yeah, die. I and know, I, and I'm just like, and that, that's what makes me suspicious that this is the three that are working the... together. We can't execute. If, if we go for Carly and she is the leech, we can't kill her and we will go down to the final three. Tomorrow. What if she is? I think we should kill a, Brooke. What if she's a drunk sailor? Then we. It's lose. just a wet, she's it's a drunk feels, sailor. It just feels like this after, after having checked twice. The with thing. Four people left, it is wasteful. Yeah. It's I not worth that risk. If, if she's a drunk sailor, we just lose the game. That's a. I think that, that risk is crazy. If she's sailor or leech, she can't die. I think, I think she's drunk. Go for John. If she's drunk sailor, if we're gonna it's go one of these two phenomena. Yeah. I, I think I think John is more likely just by the sheer fact I th that either it's Pucka and it's him because he's still alive, or he's the leech host because they're leaving mm. him. Why alive. can't I kill yep. Brooke? You you can kill Brooke. I just the re okay. So this is my theory: is I was protected. I like my ability protected me the first day, and I chose Brooke. We still had a demon kill. So if it's a pucka situation, then like I like the fact that I wasn't the poisoned one just leads me to believe that she's a minion at best in, ter in terms of demon world. Mm -hmm. She could be host. I'm just wary of the fact if she's host, why is John alive? Well, let's let's just inter. I, I'm really unless he's the leech. I, I guess. I'd love to interrogate uh, if Brooke is the host. If Brooke has been yeah. the host the whole game, then she's poisoned. And what's your? There's no. Uh, is there any gossip that's come your way? There's any gossip that's gone your way? 
Not a single one. No gossip has resulted in a kill. So I gossiped the first night that it was a puka, nobody died. Second night, I did not get a chance to gossip, um, and somebody mm. died after an execution, which rules out Zambul. Um, third night, I gossiped that the demon was on this side, nobody died. And then the last night, I, I gossiped that the demon was an imp, and nobody died. So, however, I've also been drinking with Brooke quite a bit. But I also think well, the you gossip said, has you been. You said you drank with me until last night. No, no, yeah, not the, the first, first night. First I, didn't, night. I, didn't, I didn't know you were king yet. I just um, want to say, I want to say, one of the reasons I've trusted John is because I've been alive for quite a while, and yeah. I came out as dreamer very early on. Brooke's been kind of out as the gossip for a while, and is still alive, which makes gossip's me a not suspicious. a great kill though. There was a concerted effort with. Adam to keep Brooke alive, which makes me think that again, if we have the three that I'm pointing out, he w and then <laughs> oh, 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 Jesus Christ! Sorry, I was that dimension that we go to is uh, a bit cold. Uh, <laughs> it didn't really take <laughs> coat. Anyway, uh, don't worry about that because it's warm here. There are four of you alive. Nominations are open. No, I, I think it's a very viable world in just which the, she's the host well, as well. Just okay, to finish my point was that in this scenario. Adam would be fighting to keep Brooke alive because Brooke would be the leech host. And if it's one, two, three, then why not protect Brooke at all costs? I'm Adam and Brooke are definitely working together, whether that's good or evil. I and don't I don't know, know they, whether or not- They sat me down and really like hard pitched to me their whole world. And then, I think then, they're on the same team. When you were on the stand, Brooke, your suggestion was that, oh, Adam, should I check? Should, should I out and everything and things like that? And it was, I don't know, all, all of the information seemed to point to Adam's puppeteering. No, no, you're my right. It's probably, it, it could very reasonably be uh, Brooke. <laughs> can, can Which I, is what I was about to say. Can Reach. I make the case for Brooke? Because I actually think yeah. you're right. You died the night after you were told neither of Brooke has roles with the pucker. I died the night after I got that you two were on the same team. Pucker, pucker. I think it might be Brooke. I don't think we execute yep. today. And I also died after I got given a two sitting next to Carly and Laurie at that point. Yeah. I, it, I think it's definitely no, a pucker. No, here's my argument against that though. This is why I don't think it can actually be Brooke and wh why I'm, re I would like it to be, is I picked Brooke the first day and I wasn't drunk and we had a kill. That can't work. Okay, so. Unless something was going on with, like, with me that was outside of it, but yeah. I don't think there's another source of drunkenness or poison that I can indicate. Yeah, you weren't drunk, you picked Brooke. Brooke was drunk, so we didn't get a gossip kill. We got a demon kill. Yeah, so she, he's arguing that John's the pucker. John's the pucker? Right, wait, so yeah, Brooke, no, wait, isn't, what? Brooke isn't the pucker, but we do have a pucker in place. Which is John. It'd have to be John I in think, that world. I, I think John's our pucker. It'd have to be John. I think we got oh, not, shit. I'm not, it'd have John to be John. The You're absolutely right. I nominate John. I'm not the demon. Oh. Okay, Carly, John, step on up. Carly, please inject some of them words into our ears. <laughs> okay. Um, so despite all of your best efforts, I am still alive. Um, but. Thankfully, that is also very, very useful information because uh, it speaks to when um, one, the fact that I cannot be a host. I know you have to consider me as the possibility of leech, but in my worldview, everything that makes sense and points out the evil team suggests that John at the stage has to be a puka. There isn't a choir boy. Um, it's just a king that's still alive. And at this point, I say kill the fucking king. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. John. In my real life, I completely agree with you. <laughs> Fuck the monarchy. Uh, but in, in this game, and don't. Um, this just got demonetized. Yeah, I mean, the monarchy's great, if that's what you need me to say. Um, but in this game, you've claimed to be drinking with me most nights. So if I'm mm -hmm. the pucker, you should have messed around with whatever I was doing. How do you explain that? Ooh, that was, that was uh, tense. Um, well, until we've tested it, uh, I have been but I actually can't fully, ex wait, because does that line up with the days that I drank with Brooke when we tested me? What days did you drink with Brooke? I drank with Brooke at the beginning and then right at the last one, which is when you would start to get information, which is when that would happen. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? I stopped drinking with you and started drinking with Brooke again when we got, at the same time that we started to test me again. So I think that still works in my view. Thank you, Carly. Yeah. Shall we pass uh, this one over? Again? Well, hold on. No, my point is that my puckering would have been screwed up by you going drinking in, with me, in... right? <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah. No, I, I wait for my spotlight. Um, no, because uh, if I was drunk those other nights, we wouldn't have had any indicators at all because we didn't kill me every single night. So it could have been very much so that that wasn't true, and then that's been distorted. 
What? Right. Does Look, anyone understand what that means? Listen, no. I feel like I feel like we've got a money's worth out of this spotlight, but do you two want to continue <laughs> yeah. this on the bench? Yeah. Yeah. It's I a lot. I'm so confused. Grade A Aberdeen Angus bullshit. <laughs> yeah. And I want to make this point that I think killing Jean would be a complete mistake. I think I, I maybe this is just me being overconfident and feeling my oats and whatever and allow it just this feeling one time. Your oats. Feeling my oats. I think Carly got scared because I figured it out. And nominated John before anyone had a chance to nominate Brooke. I'm happy to see Brooke die. Because it's also a viable world. Because your argument was that we should kill the king and your argument was Booker and these things don't make sense. And like, I just, I don't know, between suggesting that we try and kill Carly again, which would be a waste of time, Wait. suggesting that we kill John. I think, I think it's Brooke. I think we should not kill John. And I think John should nominate Brooke. Can, can I just say, I, I agree with that. I think, sorry, Tilly, you go. No, it's all right, you go. All I'm saying is if you think based on this worldview that you've been pucker, uh, you, yeah, you've been drinking with me the whole time, Surely my trying, my kills would have not happened. Yeah, no, that's not true because no, not true. Um, the storyteller, I think, could just choose to kill a different person. Right. Is that right? Poisoned and drunk players cannot have an effect on the state of the board. Yeah. So while true. I can give a poisoned or drunk player yeah. correct information, a poisoned or drunk demon cannot cause other people to be poisoned or cause other people to I'm, die. I'm, I'm so so, so I'm Carly is lying about <laughs> the time she drank with me. I don't think she's the sailor. No. I think she's the leech. No, oh, wait, I wait, might wait. still be the host. Before we, then, before then we just settle on if, that, I just want, want to make sure that we actually have the right days that that is the case. Okay, so Good on job. the very first day, you drank with Brooke. Drank with Brooke and then you I was were drinking with John in, and then I stopped drinking with John so that we could start getting information. What no, day? Yes, no, I just want to go day by day. So. Very first day you drank with Brooke, you got tested on that same day, you survived. Brooke was presumably, if this world is true, drunk. Then the next day, from then on in, you drank with John. How and many, how many nights that situation, was that? So that is two more days, I believe. Two more nights? Or three? Okay. I honestly sure. feel like you would know this if you weren't lying. No, no, I, I'm just trying to piece together how, what is happening. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 We've discussed this extensively. Uh, it's time to let democracy <laughs> do its job, guys. Don't, don't kill John. John. Good players don't vote. Don't kill John. Maybe tomorrow, I might be the lead host. Let's talk about players. it tomorrow. But don't kill me. There are yeah, yeah, yeah. four of you good. alive. That means just two votes required today. Votes for oh. John, beginning with Dom. And be careful three. of Laurie. Sorry, sorry. Two. One. I think this is it, but I'd have to think about it. I'm happy to wait for this tomorrow. No, no good plans. Yeah, no, it's Don't fine. forget no, Laurie's no, here. No, no. Yeah, Laurie could pass this in an instant. Oh, it's so I'm scary. Only, only, only if a good, good player. Person. Only Carly a good player. Zero is not enough. Laurie, would you like to force Sorry. that through? I unfortunately can't because it's can, mechanically impossible. Oh, thank you, Laurie. Can you, can you say what, Adam, can you say what just happened there? Carly didn't die and the night before she drank with John. It doesn't make sense that the storytellers would make the pucker drunk. Does that mean she's lying? I think the easiest answer to that is Carly is lying about that. So, so that means I think that Carly is leech, possibly. Yeah, sorry, go on. I'm, and I'm the host. Yeah, I, you, we can I, kill you. I'm fine with it if that, that, that works. There's also a worldview to me that in which you are the host. So I'm so fine with I, it. Because also if that's the leech host, Laurie maybe won't let it through if we don't get enough votes. And I'm feeling, I just, I just, I feel, courage of my convictions. That's the host. I have no idea I'm not tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's not, also, tomorrow. Also, evil one more Ken. bit of info. That's true. One more bit of info. I did get gossip as my king, which if Brooke is telling the truth is true, which means I am not poisoned. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the host. If there is a leech, I don't think I can be the host. Well, you'd have to say that as potentially, like, oh my like to me, my world, you could still be bad. I, I just, I'm just not confident enough to kill okay. today. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say final call today. No, no, but what's the harm in waiting one more night? Genuinely. We'd be outnumbered, no? Four. We've got all the guests. Gossip is already confirmed. No, Busy is gonna die. I'm gonna die. Three. Two. I'm so sure. One. I am too. No executions today. Everybody, good night. Oh, what a game. No executions. Let's see if there are any deaths in the night. Okay, night phase. What is this now? Night six? Night six. Wow. So, first of all, as usual, we wake up Carly. After some consternation, she chooses to attack dead Tilly. Evil really are on the ropes here, and I think this is probably the most sensible choice she could have made. It will at least look like a, a demon tried to kill her, or at the very least will sow some confusion. Unfortunately, that means for evil, John is still in. So we wake up John and we show him the leech because if he were evil, 
That is exactly what he would claim he saw. Good morning, Ravenswood Bluff. You assemble in the town square to find the grisly remains of nobody. <laughs> nobody does. Good luck. <laughs> to quote Beyonce, <laughs> question, can <laughs> the leech kill themselves? Mm. Leech can't die. No, can they, they well, can't well, die. That's my point. Can well, they, they can't sink it. They can't sink it. They could sink they could sink a kill though any, very any easily. Yeah, it's very easy could, could, sorry, can what? They can sink a kill. Sink a kill. So they could just like person. kill a dead body. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like they, I did, they, they, did not, they could choose themselves so, or their body. So that they, the leech, in theory, could have been like, "I'm going to keep my vizier in place." Yeah, they don't have to yeah. kill anybody. Yeah. They could just okay. make it. They could force okay. it. But if, eventually, if we played this game, they would just narrow it down to two people. It's not uh, a yeah, good that's game what, for the yeah. demon. To Genuine play. rules question. Yeah. <laughs> could the leech have picked? Did did they find out about the vizier before the first night? We did, right? Yeah. No, no, we found out on the first on day. The first night. Could yeah. the leech first have day. inadvertently picked the vizier as their host? No. Yes. no. Laurie's power has gone off. Oh yeah. Not it would be poisonous. Not in this oh, great, game. Okay. great. Not in this game. They're also told who the minions are. Yeah. Before, okay, because I got... Sorry, Brooke, go. Oh, no, go for it. Yeah, yeah. I got Leech in the night as my king power. Cool. You don't we, have to We say have Leech, that. Vizier. Good or evil. I'm not poisoned. Host. host. I, think, I think we're okay. I'm okay Carly with killing Brooke. Carly is right. Yeah. You would have to claim that, but also... Sure. I, no, no, no. I, I, I'm okay with killing Brooke. I actually think that's the Let's kill Brooke. We, let's do it. Brooke won't die today. She's been devil's advocated, for sure. Let's do it, then. Okay. Walk me through that, Adam. Why do you think that? Because I think that's the only reason why the demon doesn't kill. Wait, who's who's the to other... stretch out the days because they're not matching up. Who's I the other think. minion? Pun. Who's the other minion? So we've we've, we've got the... leech, vizier. Carly. It's not. So we have to have a demon left alive. Oh fuck. Can yeah. I just can I just game through your logic yeah. there, Adam? No. Yeah, you're There's you're right. Well, I don't understand argument, why the demon didn't unless kill. Unless your argument. Oh wait. Okay. I think to make me look bad. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Unless your argument is that you're the leech. The only hope is to pick me as the host. If they can't kill their host. And they can't kill the person who is the other good player. Yeah, if I die, it's obviously Brooke that's the host. Yeah. So I'm the only one they can pin it on. Laurie's Vizier, Carly's Leech. I don't think you're actually the host. I think you're the puck. I just don't know. Cool. Well, I'm going to nominate Brooke when we can. That's fine. Let's kill Brooke. I mean, I think that's I just, just the end of the game, regardless. Have we definitely ruled out Imp? I think the um, game's too weird. I'm just thinking I'm a... there could be an Imp with a Mesephiles, and we this have whole Leech thing is a really convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a thought that occurred to me just now. I it's just think you one of those. Silence! Ah! In the court, the state of the game remains unchanged. There are four of you alive. Two votes required today. Nominations are open. Okay, I want to be very careful, but I think we should nominate Brooke, and I think that's game over. I, I also that. think that um, if, I, if I can, again, another piece of logic, going right back to the very beginning of the game, I was presented with you two being of not the same alignment. Adam claimed Adam doubled up with his cannibal thing, Ken's noble thing. I know what I mean. And if that's the bad team, those three, then he would be using that to throw even more aspersions on you and switch my brain, which it did for a night, from Ken to you as the bad one. Mm. So I, I, I now just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I can't... This, this makes so much sense to me, and Brooke being the host. Yeah. Um, I think we should do it. Are you, ha are you happy to die, Brooke? I'm stoked. Kill me, please. Uh, to clarify, <laughs> no all alive players want Brooke to die. Yep. No. Yeah, I'm fine. If that's the only viable world in which we have like a, an execution that works for everybody, I'm fine with it. I, I genuinely don't know. I think there's something else at play, and I think I think John has to be evil to me in this because I think Brooke is re it would have to be a minion in my world. Carly's claim of Pucker is demonstrably untrue, and the fact that she's still pushing that suggests definitely evil. And also, if you are, if you are. <laughs> Backed into a corner, it does make sense to agree yes. with everybody no, to cause an extra seed of doubt. It's just yes. at this point, I'm I'm not gonna sow that seed. Yes. Of doubt. <laughs> yeah. if, everyone's Do it. if everyone's happy, I'm gonna nominate Brooke. Do it. But okay. This feels like the John has nominated Brooke. Step up, please. So bad. Everyone wants this. Everyone wants. This. That's really bad. Carly doesn't. Yeah. 
but she's has I, to I've protect. I actually said I'm okay with it. I just, Carly I just don't, don't seem to want. You can't. Is the pack of thing the mug should be? I said we never actually no, got to the end of that because I got all. interrupted midway through trying to work that out. So I, I don't know. Okay, Carl. All right, that's not weird, is it? We're getting too close to the truth. Okay. No, we're getting too close to the end of the hard drive. So, John, state your case. Okay, I think we've covered everything, but as I understand it, the only possible leech host left, and I got leech and gossip as my king information, the only possible leech host can't be Vizier, can't be leech. I don't think it's me because my information appears to be correct. I think it's gotta be Brooke. I think you gossiped some things that were correct. Maybe we should examine your exact gossips. I know we don't have loads of time, but I think you might have gossiped correct things and nothing happened because you are poisoned. I think you're the leech host. I think this is gonna win us the game. Uh, oh, and I think I'm still left alive because I'm the only one to put blame on, which is why I'm not dead. Okay, Brooke, your response. Malish, I think you're hundo P correct. <laughs> uh, other thing is, I uh, just wanted to talk through the Puka thing. If everyone who died, um, everyone who died the day afterwards, they got information that sets up this worldview. So Adam died the day after uh, he got the stuff about being the scissor lady. That's... Scissor <laughs> lady. I can't speak. I'm very tired. Seamstress. Um, Sullivan, you died when you got info of two. Mm -hmm. So if, if there was a puka in play, you would get weirder information, but you don't. So I think this is the game. Please kill me. Please. Ooh, also, that two is probably Carly and Laurie. Who I think are both it, evil. It would it would have been in that situation. And not so you're not poisoned, I think. All right, sorry. Have, sorry. have a seat, guys. You can uh, you can discuss it when you sit back down. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Does anyone have any pertinent info? I, re I really would like to work out whether it is person it, like absolutely untrue that we have a pucker in, in play because so much info either we were we were in the middle of working it out and I'm going to have to do it again. Yeah, let's so do it. I apologise if it takes a bit of time, but it has to. It's important, right? So you make. Brooke drunk on your first day and uh, you survive the execution. On your second night, yeah. you make John drunk and in this, it, it, well, you, you take John out for a drink, but you are drunk, but you're not put up for execution. On the third night, same thing happens again. On the fourth night, is that when John would have taken it? it we actually it don't have evidence of who was made drunk. No, 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 but this is what I'm saying is that it, like, it, 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 this is if it's a pucker world. I'm trying to work it out. I mean, yeah. I'm not I was saying tested this is again, the but I okay. stopped, and I stopped drinking with John because we were going to switch over to the same number. Yeah, so so on the fourth, was the fourth night the night that you switched over to Brooke slash also, was that the night that you switched over I to Brooke? I consistently stayed to Brooke until we, we were going to trigger John. <laughs> Until the, it was convenient. The <laughs> night after. Why wouldn't I do that for a king? Well, you, sta you said you stayed with me until you switched. Yeah, just before is when I swapped. I do you just want to stay with Brooke. Yeah, until then. I do just want to clarify because uh, I think I, I I put that fact out and I just want to I do want to hear it from you. Uh, the night you didn't die the second time, who did you drink with the night before? Which night was that? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to like do the math of the days out and when I stopped because I all people, I did was, was five count people votes. alive the night before. John would have got his first bit of information then I would have stopped drinking with John then, and I would have drank with Brooke. Okay. That's not true. We're gonna run the vote, guys. If, if that was gonna be when John was gonna get his info, that's when I stopped. No, no, I the, really night, think the night, night the before, game. you didn't die for the second time. I Six just feel people were alive. so confident in that. Okay, everyone, it's time. It Brooke. is time oh. to run the vote. Four living players, two votes required if you wish to put Brooke on the block. Votes for Brooke beginning with Ken in three, two, one. One, two. Two's enough. I think two is enough. Then I'm just gonna stop. I think I think John is a better shout, but this is fine. Three is enough. Laurie, would you like to force it through? I have no idea what's going on, man. No. <laughs> mm. Then leave it. I'm lost. I've not spoken it. to anyone. And leave it. Okay. I think he's messing with us. I think we're good. I I mean I think John's a better shout, and I think you wait. You're not. Mm. Any other nominations today? That's weird. Yeah. But that's why. Okay. Yeah. That's what you do if you bang to rights. Because at this point, the, the final gambit yeah. is to throw the accusation onto John, and I think that by by doing this is to this play is to do I precisely John. this. Carly, John, please take the stand. Oh, oh my god! Oh my I, god! 
By the way, I'd just like to say you can purchase Blood on the Clock Tower right now. But uh, bloodonthecocktower.com. You too could experience heart-stopping tension yeah. for hours. Ah. Would you like to hate your friends? Yeah. Oh, Make your well, own ghost lawyer. <laughs> okay, Golly, please state your case. Hello. Um, I, I, I'm wary of all of it. All I know is that I'm not evil and this whole worldview is pinned on the fact that I am. Um, I would be fine with it if John was aiming at himself for going for Brooke, but I have to exist in a world where I know what my information is true. I'm sorry I don't have all of my nights in order. I wasn't paying attention as much as just knowing that John was a sheer fire bed until I thought he wasn't and then I switched. So like, I, 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 I'm sorry if I uh, wasn't counting. Normally when I like go through the game, I'm much more deliberate in keeping track, but to me it was like until John was getting info, it made sense to stick with him and then do something else that I thought was gonna mess with people. Um, I am wary of what has just happened, and I know you guys have to say that I have to say this, but I, I, there's nothing else I can do, because in my world, like, this is all based on the fact that that isn't true, and I know we'll lose if otherwise. I know that's very random, but, um, but yeah, that, that this is the best I can do to try to exist in the world that I know is true. Okay, thank you. John, your defense. So you're claiming me first night, Brooke, Brooke, me. Is that I'm, right? I'm, I'm claiming Brooke, then you sorry, until... Brooke, sorry, Brooke first night, me, me, Brooke. Is that all the nights we've had? Well, I don't know after that. I haven't heard No, uh, no it, it's just, I'm, I'm claiming you until I thought you were about to get information, so I stopped and switched. But you didn't do me on the first night. Not on the first night. So you're claiming Brooke, then me, then me, then Brooke. Which is why I don't think Brooke is the pucker, I think, in the best, like, in the world, that it has to be you in my world. And I feel like my mistrack of information is the only thing that's pinning it here. And I feel like, yeah. And, do, you, and I, do you think I'm the demon? I think you have to be. Right, even though you drank with me and my power still, my power still fired. No, because that wasn't the night that I drank with you, I believe. But two nights, the deaths, the de uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the deaths wouldn't have occurred, right? But I could have been the one drunk in yeah. those points. They would have let those that's go through point. as me as the drunk one, and we wouldn't have known any better. Right, so you're saying that the two nights you didn't die, the only two nights yeah. you, that the person you picked was made drunk. Yeah. And okay. I've said actively to people I was going to drink with John until I wasn't, and that was the day we went for me again. Okay, so you kept drinking with a demon and they kept making you drunk instead, is what you're of claiming. Of course, because that's okay. what else would Okay, I'm just checking that's so, what you're saying. John, do you have anything to add before no. we... Okay, have a seat then, please, guys. This is, this is their final gambit. Just to be absolutely clear, this is the literal only way the evil team can win. If my theory of the case is true, and I really so far believe it is, this is an ingenious final play to have the, de the, the vizier sow the doubt in enough people long enough that John gets nominated by Carly. And, and then, and then with all of this back and forth is, is a genius because it's confusing, but I'm, I'm just so sure that this is it. This is, the, the, Brooke is the host, Carly is the leech. I'm so sure, and, and on my head be it if not. If anyone votes for this, Laurie can pass it. That's it, if any and good player, and that's that's why it makes it genius. If any, any one Fuck. good player votes <laughs> for this, Laurie can make it happen and the evil it's, win. It's, this is, uh, just to be clear, if anyone votes for this, Laurie will pass it and we, the good team will lose. Any good players. It's the final game okay. and it is the so, you have to Gentlemen, you, uh, I'm, I'm acutely aware that Carly's desperately trying to respond oh, here. Sorry. So we're gonna yeah, have yeah. this response, then we're gonna run the vote. No, Carly's just stressed because she knows her world's true, but it's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, right. Can I add one more point? I've if gossiped, you must. I, I gossiped a lot and nobody died. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, Tom, if you want to jump in there. If a single good player votes for this, mm. Laurie will pass the it The only time you gossip However, if any though, married good players vote for it, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, no jokes. <laughs> if a, if a, like, not even what. <laughs> Guys, any ghost, we will lose. I, I promise you, Laurie will pass it. Who is we? Let's do it. Let's do it. The good okay, will right. Lose. Enough. Oh, Enough. No. It's time for the vote to happen. Tom. I swear, like. If you'd be so kind as to why point not, at the person who has been either? nominated, which is. It's on you because I'm tired, Carly. <laughs> That's the answer to your question. It's on you because I'm tired. Okay. Uh, there oh. are four of you alive, but we already have three votes on Brooke. That means four required to execute John. Three would tie. Votes for John, beginning with Dom in three, two, one. I swear. Oh, fucking hell. All right, it's over. One. Ravenswood Bluff no, needs to fall no, no, before no. we kill each other. This oh. is not <laughs> enough. <laughs> However, Laurie, would you like to force this through? Yeah, force it through. Well, tough, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, I assume we have no more nominations today. <laughs> what, is Big sad. what is happening? <laughs> In that case, oh then, 
Brooke okay. is executed and dies. As does Carly. Yes! 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 I defer to you, you absolute evil genius. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Face me. Love me. Love me. You are a piece of shit. You're so good. You're so good. Yes, Dad. You believed in me. No, you can't. Some grey oh, day emotional God. torture, Sorry. Carly. Thank you. I was emotionally tortured. I didn't hug you, Dan. We were, oh we were, we were tight from the beginning. We were, we were tight. Day one, yeah. down since day, day one. Day day one. You two, oh, yeah. well done. Oh, yeah. Fucking well done. Well done to both of you. Well done to both of you. Can I lie well down? Done. Thank God well you done. believed in me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck me, running. Oh, is oh nice, but it's also very, very brutal. Because oh, yeah. you cannot yeah. talk to your minions. Yes, yeah. yeah. no. Yeah. It's oh. very rough. Also, I just, just want to point out, was, please was he the Mesephiles? Yes. Oh, yes. He, he told me, he told me the word was dumped so up when I said it, I didn't turn. Yeah, because he died. It's because I died that day. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, don't, I wanted to be able. Able. I wanted to be able. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the win. Let's do the roll call. Please. Let's do the roll Please. call. Please. So we had Dan the seamstress who on night one, after some deliberation and an attempt to check himself. I was confused. I won't lie to you. Decided to select his neighbors, John and Ken, and learned that they were in fact not on the same team. That's because John was our king. Of course, that was known to Carly the leech. Ken was in fact the Mesephiles, whose secret word was dump truck. <laughs> Oh, uh, however, so he, he, he dashed his uh, chances of getting it out there somewhat by immediately sprinting towards the vizier on day one. Oh my God. <laughs> Although apparently he walked that back enough to convince Adam to say dump truck, but then Ken died before Adam could turn either. <laughs> Look, I fancy it. I fancy it, all right? <laughs> so Adam no. had to uh, be happy with just being the cannibal. On the <clears throat> night that Ken was executed, I had no idea what Ken was going to bluff, so I just gave Adam some noble information. <laughs> <laughs> then he bluffed noble. Oh my god, because uh, Adam no. told me. Yeah, yeah I god. did tell him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on, uh, Adam then gained the ability, I believe, of the seamstress. Yep. And selected Brooke and John and learned that they were on the same team. And then Adam didn't get any more information for the rest of the game. Brooke was the leech host, but Brooke was also the gossip. At no point did Brooke make a true gossip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually was quite fortuitous, I suppose, although mm. it, it, what, it didn't save the evil team in the end. Mm. Uh, we had Dom, our dreamer. <laughs> the first night. Tell who on night one selected Laurie the Vizier. <laughs> so I told him that Laurie was either the dreamer or the Vizier. <laughs> so annoying. And then told everyone that Laurie was the Vizier. <laughs> yes, to clarify, it was before you'd announced it. So it wasn't, it wasn't, course, I wasn't yes. being stupid. Yeah. I was just being un unlucky. Yeah. Um, Laurie, I don't know if you noticed, was the Vizier. Hi, guys. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, Sullivan was our empath who on night one learned that one of his living neighbors were evil. That was Laurie. And then on night two, learned that both of his living neighbors were evil. That was Laurie and Carly, mm -hmm. because Tilly died on night two. Tilly was our tea lady, oh. and her neighbor on day one did actually survive execution. But it wasn't because they were both good neighbors. Oh. It was because Carly was the leech, and her bluffs were Gollum, Sailor, and Noble. And I believe that wraps up the game. Thank you very much for playing everyone. It's been a blast, but that concludes the last game of the season. Oh. Oh. What out of five. What out of six. What out of six. What out of six. I just couldn't well quite nail the last three uh, evil hat trick. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I was going for. Honestly, yeah. well yeah. done, you two, because you convinced me yeah. by the end there. Yeah. And I was. Thank God I had you no on my side. I just. I could have done that on my own. You got me convinced just at the end. I just got myself in a tears about DA. It was so mad we didn't get the fourth. I assumed you were DA, honestly. Oh, that was good.
And that is all for this series of No Rolls Barred Plays Blood on the Clock Tower. So rest your weary souls in this life or the next. But remember this, we'll meet again. Get on board. Hello, I'm Adam from No Rolls Barred. We are launching a Kickstarter for NRB Plays Blood on the Clock Tower live and in person, series two. Now, here is the big hook as to why you should donate your money to this Kickstarter. Well, actually, there's two reasons. First of all, watch the videos that we made. Aren't they lovely? Do you want to see more? Well, here's how you can. Second of all, the big gimmick for season two and all we're really excited about this is in our season finale of our first series, we played a game with a brand new character, the Vizier. And this time around, in season two, we've talked to the Pandemonium Institute and they have agreed that every single episode of season two will contain a brand new character. Oh, we're going to look forward to it. It's going to be really weird to play with constantly new characters and oh, Daddy Ben's going to be super stressed running new characters for us in a production environment. Thanks, Daddy Ben. You're the best. So here's why you should donate to season two. It's going to be very similar to season one's Kickstarter. We're going to start with two episodes. If that gets funded, we'll make two. There'll be stretch goals. If you fund us to make four, we'll make four. If you fund us to make six, we will make six. Once again, it's up to you. If we don't reach the funding, we won't make it. It's how much you guys want to see a second series of NRB plays Blood on the Clock Tower in person, this time with brand new characters. If you'd like to donate to the Kickstarter, please click the link in the description and it'll take you right there and you can see some of the rewards that we've got on offer for people who do pledge. But that's it. No pressure. If you liked what we've done, here is visual proof of what we can make and we want to make more and we need your help to do it because it costs a load of money. A load of money. Sullivan, how much money does it cost? Oh, bloody loads. Bloody loads. So if you could help us out, that'd be great. If you don't want to, well then, Right here. <laughs> right here, I suppose. I never know how to end an announcement video. Get on board. <laughs> My partner in crime until the end of the line, Ben. Oh, hello, love. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> My partner in crime till the end of the line, Ben. Guten Tag! <laughs> oh, now that's a different kind of energy. Yeah. <laughs> That's for the German fans, aren't they? <laughs> I got you. Uh, yeah. There are no wrong answers in improv, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lovely bottle of poo. Stick it in your mouth and drink it down. Now your urine will be brown. <laughs> <laughs> Hope that was gonna Hope that makes the cut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, was the demon drunk? Because someone's been imp-ailed. Am I just a dumbass? I don't get that pun at all. Ale's a drink. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs>
yeah, yeah.